Hello, hello, one and all. Here we are once again. It is time for more Unicorn Overlord. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Leg Man, though you probably know that already. And it is very good to be back with you all. I know it's been a couple of days since we last played. Been quite busy. Uh, I'm quite tired. So I'm going to have to have y'all hold me accountable to stay awake and focused for the next good few hours. As we play some Unicorn Overlord, though, I do have some coffee to help in that task. Offset by a little bit of whiskey, because, you know, it is a nice Thursday evening. And some water to help stay hydrated through it all. I'm very excited. Uh, I will say, the first day in, like, not quite a month, but close to it, that I haven't uploaded a video. I've had daily guides and discussion going up since before Unicorn Overlord came out, really. And it uh, feels weird to not have something out today. I really wanted to, but I was really trying to work on getting the class overview part two video done. And it is largely done. I will have it up tomorrow for sure. Uh, but those videos take time to put together. It's a lot of information, a lot of editing. So I was not quite able to squeeze it out today and didn't have anything else prepared to put it out today. So my apologies for that. But like I said, I'm tired. I needed a little bit of a break anyway, so no video today, just streams. Not that that is necessarily a bad thing. See, we have a bunch of people in the chat already. Let's see, who do we have here? Free Paper, Heartland, Scuba Steve, TR Lightwing, Renee. Hello, hello. Working on that fan art, I see. Very exciting. Uh, Rock Rug, hello. Daniel J, Pristine Leon Gifted. Jonotan, Cyberwolf, Unborn, Aiden Scott, Enzo, Ponce, Odd Panda, good to see you. Risk God. Segno is here, hello, hello. Bo is here as well, very good to see you guys, very good to see you guys. That is the week and month of pollen, so my allergies are affecting me. Yeah, not me yet, not me yet, fortunately. The, um, the rain has been tamping down any allergen-inducing pollens, so, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, that will be me at some point here, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. Hello, Tom. I am the Unicorn Overlord. Completed the game. Very nice, Rock or Rug. Very nice. I was unbelievably sad to miss the last stream, and that one was wild. Glad to be here now, though. Look after yourself. Of course, of course. No need to apologize for not having enough time. Well, I appreciate that segment. I do very much appreciate that. You know, if I wasn't working nearly full-time as well, like, <laughs> that would help, but... What kind of whiskey? Ah, uh, just some Southern Comfort. Nothing crazy. I think we can find it in our hearts to forgive you for missing a day. Well, I appreciate that, Renee. Thank you. <laughs> Spoiling myself for the rest of your run, but eh, we'll catch up later. Yeah, yeah, I mean, now that you've beaten the game, it's not too big of a deal. Short break from UO Streams giving me some time to make and refine some more Antonio lore, which I'm ready to share when the time is right. Well, whenever you feel the time is right, Cyberwolf, go for it. Honestly, wonder where he finds the time to stream, make videos, and work a job. Yeah, you and me both, brother. <laughs> Oftentimes, I'm the one who makes dinner, too. Keep that in mind. And do the dishes and do laundry. Jane helps with the laundry. Yeah, it's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. Typically, I get up at, like, 6... On days when I have work, go to work, uh, get back from work, um, have like an hour, hour and a half before Jane gets back from work, feverishly work on recording and editing a video, typically still am editing by the time she gets home, uh, f hopefully finish my video, make a thumbnail for it, get it uploading, potentially publish it, or pause, make dinner, finish editing on it. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, like, watch some anime or something with Jane for, like, an hour, hour and a half. Then, depending on if I have work the next morning, stream. Or, potentially work on another video, another project. That's where I've been trying to squeeze in little bits of editing time for the mythical cooking video that I just haven't had the time to work on. Do chores. Make lunch for the both of us. It's a lot. Somewhere in there, I'm supposed to, like, socialize with people and work out and everything. That hasn't been happening very much. There was also the Discord bot attack that happened. Yeah, huge props to Mod and friend of the channel, Caffeine System, 
for handling that with grace when I was in the middle of cooking, speaking of. Fighting the horsemen of famine and pestilence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, David Vides. Hey, man, first time catching a stream. Only found you three days ago because of this game. I had to go and find a cheap, quote-unquote, collector's version for the Switch. Coming in tomorrow, and I can't wait. Oh, that's exciting, David. That is very exciting. Welcome. It was very good to have you, and I hope you appreciate and enjoy the game when you finally get your hands on it, because it is a blast. Talked about predicting slash seeing where the budget couldn't be applied as much. The elves might be a place where not as, it's not as bad, if so. No, it's not terrible. Socializing is overrated. Socializing with the partner is enough. That's true. That's true. We've been watching Free Run. She's also been watching Apothecary Diaries, which I've only been half pe or only half been paying attention to, because I'm typically working on something when she's watching it. But that's been interesting as well. I did ping you. No, I know you did, but I was cooking and I had my earbuds in and didn't wasn't getting any of my alerts. Jane was getting all of the alerts because she was uh, in a uh, meeting using my PC, and she couldn't figure out why there were so many Discord pings coming in, but she couldn't take the time to look either. All right. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this thing. When last we left off, we had done some considerable rearranging and optimizing of our squads. Everyone is up to five members, and we have currently squeezed in every single one of our supporter characters with a scant few uniques left in the pile. We've got Amalia here. We have Elaine and Berengaria. And then... God, is it just Bruno? Yeah. Oh, and Lex. Yeah. So we've got five uniques left. They will be the first to go if it comes down to it, though. Elaine and by proxy Berengaria, since she is now our waifu, must stay. So technically speaking, we have three slots left for generic characters. We have one feather staff that we need to recruit. And then I might save everyone else's entries for the Truza Neuron campaign. We'll see. We'll see. Couldn't imagine being in a meeting and seeing those messages flood my screen. <laughs> well, that's the thing. is I have my Discord set up so that notifications don't pop. So she just had Discord behind her, uh, like, Zoom meeting. So she couldn't see anything. She was just hearing all the boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. So, we need to proceed to the second half of Albion here, towards Bound by Sacred Oath. We also have a battle down here that we will go do, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got everything really upgraded thus far. Obviously, we've got some carvings we've been finding. Have to track down the actual book for that. We're moving along at a pretty good pace here. And in fact, I think we're just going to... Why is this territory not revealed here? We'll go over to uh, Heaven's River. And then proceed from here. Weird that that battle was revealed. You encroach upon orthodoxy land, and I shall hereby see you punished for it. All right, Alexia. The battle for Citrin Pool. And we can do that first. That's fine. Let's go. Would we be able to give you submissions for True Zenoiren if we had submissions for this run? Uh, I mean, you can if you want. Absolutely. Uh, I was planning on just carrying over anyone who made submissions for this campaign to the True Zenoiren campaign. But if you don't make it into this campaign and you'd like to make a different submission for True Zenoiren, that's fine too. Absolutely. Um, just, I guess, make sure that I know. But I mean, I should be able to tell if you comment. Um, that way I can take that submission and scrub out the other one. I just honestly wasn't expecting to get as many people as we have for this campaign. I figured we'd be able to fit everyone in easily, but we're starting to overflow. So, uh, yeah, if you want to switch things up for True and Oiren, that's totally fine. Absolutely. And then, full disclosure as well, what I'm planning for True and Oiren is we're going to use Uniques first, and then as we need, we'll fill in the gaps with supporter units. Like, if I want extra knights and people happen to have knights, then I'll use you guys, of course. Um, and then 
I think I am going to do a true permadeath Iron Man run. <laughs> Which is going to be very, very interesting. Um, maybe we'll have a caveat that if Elaine dies, we can continue. We'll see. It depends on how I feel. Um, but then, as we lose characters, I'll definitely need new recruits to fill in the gaps. So that's where more submissions will come into play. Hey, Matthew Tipping subscribed and joined as a member. Matthew, welcome. Very good to have you, sir. Very, very kind of you to join us. Thank you. Hope you're having an excellent night and enjoying your time around the channel. All right, let's see what we got going on here. This looks pretty simple. We've got some mines laying around. Not too terrible. Pretty scary feather bow squad here, but we can pull them out of the tower. Cavalry squad. Sorcerer soldier squad. Ooh, and then a fairly diverse squad here with the cleric as its head. If you start a stage and didn't clear the mobs on the map beforehand, do you get the extra honors at the end of the stage? Yes, you do. Iron Man after true? No, I think our first true in iron is going to be Iron Man. I don't know if I'll have the time to stream a third campaign, uh, because I am planning at the moment on covering Aid and Chronicle on the channel, and that's coming up. What's up, Legman? Nothing much, Aiden. How you doing? Also, I see Cyberwolf. You posted about Antonio. First bit of Antonio lore of the stream, but it's more about his husband. His name is Davis, and he's a stay-at-home dad, but he also knits clothes and dolls that he donates to the orphanage. Very cute. You said that Antonio's husband was a uh, rabbit vestral, right? If I remember correctly. Okay. How do I want to do this? So... You can tell... Man, my fire roots are showing. I was looking at Pierre's unit, and it's like, well... We've got two Axe Cavaliers. That'll counter all the Lance Cavaliers in this squad that are coming up. Because Axes beat Lances, obviously. Let's have Octavia's unit come out here. What should I do? As you handle them. Uh, we do have the mines to worry Your about. Orders, we please. will give you a giant's canopy to prevent that issue. As for everyone else, uh, the super tax bros should do pretty okay here. Keep a level head every, whenever you need me. They'll take losses, Understood. but that's fine. And then for our last squad, there's so many mines. Let's, Let's get a flying squad orders, out here to circumnavigate Heading that issue. Allow me. Here we go. Would you count jumping into a stage looking around and dipping as Iron Man friendly? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Nothing wrong with a little bit of scouting. That's smart military tactics. When Iron Man becomes Rust Man. <laughs> not Aiden Chronicles, Aiden Chronicles. E I Y U D E N. The spiritual successor to the Soikiden series. And uh, unfortunately, the creator, Murayama, just recently passed away before the game could be released. So I was already planning on playing it. I've covered it a little bit on the channel in terms of videos in the pre-release period. Um, now I really want to play it for Murayama's honor, in honor of his memory. And just because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. His son is a rabbit. Uh, Davis is a wolf. Ah, that's what it was. Thank you. Oh, yes, thanks to whoever gifted me the sub. You're welcome, Reyna. That was... Was it Michael last stream? No. It was someone last stream. I don't remember who, though. I'm unstoppable. Sub equals membership. Yeah, it's same difference. The game looks crazy. Don't mind watching because I'll forget everything when I get the game tomorrow. What would you say is your favorite unit class? That's tough, man. That's tough. Um... I'm a big fan of Cell Swords slash their promotion, Lance Connect. I am a big fan of Doom Knights, who you're seeing right now. But then I think it might have to go to Radiant Knight. 
Radiant Knight is just so good. Like healing, support, the damage, they've got it all. Not a problem. Do I already have a rising save to carry over? I do not, Jacob. I've not played rising. I only found out about it recently and I haven't had the time to even try. So look forward to having Ajax in the game, but Iron Man losing it makes me iffy. Yeah, I mean, that is how it is, man. That is the nature of the Iron Man run. Woo! I think that's the first time we've seen Vicious Torment go off. Not bad. How's it also pronounced Soikoden correctly? I'm not trying to be a dick, but it just kind of makes me wince whenever he says Soikoden. To my credit, that is a long-standing pronunciation from when I was a kid playing Psycho with my dad. Kind of hard to unlearn at this point. <laughs> God, whenever Dragoon Dive triggers, it's so satisfying. Something to keep in mind as well, Daniel, is we only lose characters if the whole unit goes down. So far, so good. So that should hopefully be easy enough to avoid, largely. Where should I go? Like, Elaine being dead here is not going to count for the Iron Man. I'm going based off of the rules of what Unicorn Overlord counts as a quote-unquote permadeath, even whatever though I know you can you resurrect mean. characters, whatever, but like... And Your just having someone secured. go down there does not count. Where should I go? Advancing. Wherever you'd like. Me. It's only if the whole unit goes. Right away. I await your next orders. It's time to prove. Myself. Holy cavalry, Batman! Let's keep going. I'm ready to fight. That's enough out of them. All right, let's drop this lady, shall we? Sir. I'll do what I can. With the combined or combined might of our forces here, we can just chip through her without too much issue, I would imagine. I mean, by all means, keep healing yourself, I guess. It's not a problem. When did you get out here? Holy crap, they spawned Another fast. Step on the path of progress. Time to prove myself. All right, it's just the cleric. Now we're done. We got it. Not a problem. May as well pop a liquid fortune here, honestly. We've got uh, so many of them. And there's only so many battles that we're going to even need them for at this point. Rising was good. It I seems like it was good, yeah. Higher. How's that for good? Looks like I win. If one tank lives, they all live, exactly. As long as one person is alive to triage the wounded, it's all good. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, darling. What's up? Nothing? Jane is here. She just comes to say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> there you are. Oh, we're off to a strong start here. Cleared a mission, got some honors. That we only really need for upgrading gear at this point, now that I think about it. Pretty wild. <laughs> Hi, Jane! <laughs> Ooh, we can upgrade this town. Very nice. I'm trying to remember, was it 50 honors to upgrade a weapon plus the star iron? We do have a number of circles that we can go to to get star iron, so. Oh, God, that's right. We're like out of guards. <laughs> I'll keep it safe. I promise. Hey, Tom, if you have too many towns, not enough units for the end of this one, will you just throw a random generics to guard them? Potentially, yeah. Is that right? Divine shards time five, jeez. And do illusion, nice. Oh, we did find a journal. I 
I didn't realize. Okay. Well, we'll wait to actually get that going until we have found all the statues. Would Elaine dying in the Iron Man result in a mission restart? I haven't decided. Because, like, strictly speaking, in Iron Man is, like, no restarts, no nothing. So if the Lord dies, the Lord dies, and the game is over <laughs> permanently. So I haven't quite decided if I want to go that hard yet. Do we might. Know if you require assistance. Lapis Bell. We have one of them. The Inquisitor. Oh, it's a powered-up version of Healing Hunter. Yes, I will take that. May Thank the you. Father bless you. That is nice. So. Oh, <laughs> the angel, yes. Welcome to my humble store. Look around as much as you please. Ooh, two of the fortunes available. My thanks. Upgrades use Fevrite, not Star Iron. Right, Star Iron is the uh, the statues that give you the the meteorite stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're right. May the Father watch over you. When you write, you write, indeed. Bye, bye, my love. Enjoy your time in bed, your slept. Hmm? That's fine. Enjoy your watch. Just like Pokemon and Nuzlocke, the rules are what you make them. That's true. That's true. Is gifting turned off? I was wanting to give some memberships as an Easter gift, but don't have the option. Well, first of all, thank you for the super chat, Matthew. Second of all, it shouldn't be... People gift memberships all the time, and I didn't change it. Can anyone else confirm? Like, you don't have to actually gift a membership. It just, like, does it give you the option? I don't know if it's, like, limited for Matthew for some reason. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to change my alerts over, so you can't actually hear the alerts on the stream. Give me one moment. If you vaguely heard that one, it's because you heard it over my mic, not over the actual proper sound channels. There we go. Found the journal quickly after entering Al er, Albion from Elheim. Oh, yeah, way back then. Right, 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 right. Yes. I did, in fact, forget about that. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that. Right, yeah, and then we found the Black Market Merchant pretty early, too. Yeah, people are reporting that they can gift, so I don't know what that's about. Not sure even Kaga intended for people to restart when the Lord dies. After all, more like you keep going and take the losses as they come. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. But you do get a game over if the Lord dies in fire. I mean, just not like a full entire save file restart. I don't think they're dead in the story here. You just wouldn't be allowed to use Elaine. I mean, we could do that. We could have it that if Elaine's squad dies... We can continue, but just not able to use a lane. Just for the sake of keeping a run going. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy oh. purpose. A zealous warrior. Okay, I wasn't expecting a fancy great shield. Hello, what are you? Moonlight great shield gives 13 physical defense, 35% guard rate, 50% guard efficiency, and nocturnal guard. Activates before being hit by a physical attack. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. Grants the user plus one passive point at night. I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Antonio, would you want that? I mean... Loses two points of physical defense, a little bit of HP, a little bit of initiative. None of which are really that important. And getting extra passive points at night, since, like, he's a bestial and he wants to be doing stuff at night anyway? That seems pretty decent. Oh, hey! <laughs> Renee, gifting one membership. <laughs> Welcome to El Benny. Congratulations on your membership, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I 
And thank you, chat, for helping to troubleshoot for Matthew. That's very kind of you. I've never done it before, so I don't actually know how it works. Never took a game over to be, if you don't reset from the start, you're not doing it right. That would just be frustrating. Oh, for sure, for sure. It's just the nature of, like, community challenges when it comes to Iron Man runs. Like, they do it that way. But, given the way Unicorn Overlord works, I think we can get away with not doing it that way. Even though I'm sure there will be people who are like, No, you're not doing it right now, actually. Because, God, there's been a lot of that recently. Medium guard on a heavy shield, though. That's kind of bad. Uh, yeah, it's not terrible, though. Rising took me 24 hours, FYI. In case you want to try to get it in before the main game. Jeez. Jeez. All right, what do we got here? Three Feather Swords and two Sword Masters, all right. Oh, I like the all red on these Sword Masters. That's pretty cool. They look like a cherry flavored lollipop. And then Griffins and two, <sighs> hello Shaman Squad, yikes. And hello Sorcerer Squad, ow. That'll be nasty. God, I feel like they wanted me to approach this from the other side, but I mean, whatever, we'll deal with it. Um. You go around I make and aggro haste. these guys. Once they're out of the tower, we're going to pull them with a beckoning bell. Everyone else... Let me at them. Have y'all group up here. Keep a level head, everyone. And hold the line. Understood. I'm standing by. You got more for me? I am your humble servant. We go close enough. Okay. Where should I go? I just don't Advance want to engage yeah. here until Easy. we take out the sorcerers. I've All arrived. Done. There we go. I'll not show mercy. Not quite a kill. May as well pop an empowering draft. We have plenty of them. Just to speed things along here. Yeah, there we go. Gift using iPhone? Oh, that's weird. That is really, really odd. It's got to be some sort of like payment processing thing with Tell Apple or something. Assist. That's the Forward. only thing I can think of that would make orders, any so sense. Need some? Sure, sure. Because there's no reason We're that YouTube next. would limit that. They would want the money. Steal your resolve. Must be because Apple wants a 30 percent cut of all transactions. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. The iron tarnishes and just call it a rust man easy. Yeah. That seems reasonable to me. I mean, I can call it an Iron Man if I want. <laughs> Who says that the rules of an Iron Man for one game have to follow the rules of an Iron Man for another game? Especially if the way they deal with permadeath and things like that is different. That said, yeah, I, I, I'm still undecided. I think it would be more interesting if Elaine dying was a total reset. I don't know, we'll have to see. 
I'm still hammering out what the rules I want to follow will be. What's going to be the most interesting, the most fun. Yeah? Easy. Want some of this? Apple's weird, man. That's why I never caught dead using an Apple product. Oh, bro, same. <laughs> same. I've never owned an Apple product, and if I have any saying, then I never will. Must be really terrifying given what Untreated Apple does to you. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Most basic rule of Iron Man is no resets. I think people add other rules sometimes. Well, but that's the thing, Joel. Get up. Losing, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you, are you forced to reset if Elaine's squad dies in Trues and Iron, or is he just not deployable? Because Elaine is never a force deploy. Because that was my understanding that Elaine does not cause a game over if his squad dies. Choose an earn, you don't lose if your lord dies. Yeah, so then there you go. Then because of the way the rules of Unicorn Overlord work, you don't fail the Iron Man if your lord dies because you don't need to reset. You just won't be able to use the lane anymore. I'm glad that the Bruno Burn squad is still working even without the Chlorotic Rod. Just the application of widespread burn gets so much extra damage in, especially against squads like this where our actual attacks aren't doing a ton of damage. Not too shabby. I'm quite happy with this squad. I was really worried about Bruno's team once we broke up the Chlorotic squad. But they're doing okay. They're doing okay. And I like the inclusion of the Feather Shield. That's a nice include. Show me what you got. Yeah, look at them. Tearing it up, man. Go, Bruno squad. Enjoy that. You don't stand a chance. Alright. Not too shabby. Don't even think about messing with Grand Smash, there it is. United States of Smash, anybody? Single best episode of My Hero Academia. Best arc, after which Jane and I quickly dropped off of it. You see that? Awesome. Now, do I want to keep that on? See, the thing to keep in mind here is it's less physical potency and it's one extra AP, but we should still get the fire application. Right? Activates for an ally's physical attack. This is a physical attack. So now, with this, <laughs> unless there's flyers, we can apply burn to the entire enemy unit with one attack. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Assign no anguish to an empty purse. Oh shit, Matthew. Hello. Hold on, I missed this. I'm glad I saw the alert pop. Uh, Matthew with the 49.99. We're out to 50 for the sake of it. Since Apple is dumb, I'll just have to gift Tom and Jane instead. Happy Easter to all. Much love to the community and to your families. That Matthew, that is extremely generous of you, my friend. You did not have to do that, but thank you so much. That is very, very kind of you. Uh, we will indeed have a happy Easter. I'm planning on making a turkey. I got a free turkey from the grocery store because Jane, I guess, has decided she doesn't like ham anymore, even though she used to eat ham all the time. So I got a free turkey. going to make a turkey. It's going to be good. Uh, and it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice, cozy Easter, I think. So thank you. And I hope that you have an, a wonderful holiday as well and that your family is doing great, too.
Just received a membership from Renee, which I appreciate, but I'd like to know if that allows me to create a character for the next run. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. If you go into the community tab on YouTube, now that you have a membership, you'll be able to see, or you'll be able to see all the membership messages. And one of those has all of the rules and everything, and you can just put a comment there with whatever character and customization options you would like. And then I've got a running document that I've been adding everyone's submissions to. And anyone that I can't fit into this campaign, which we're just about out of room for, will get added on to the True Zenoyer campaign. And again, full disclaimer, I don't know that, like, I don't know what's gonna happen with getting everyone in. I don't know how the True Zenoyer run is going to work. So full disclaimer on that, but anyone who is a member or patron, whatever, will get priority access to join over any, like, well, anything else, really. Yeah, joining requirements allowed. Like, if I need squad members and your character's from Bastorius and we're in Cornea, then I'm going to have to fill the gaps until we get there. But once we get there, then you'll be in, that kind of thing. Yeah. Logistics Sorry. of the game that are immutable against sad. me. <laughs> Notwithstanding. Where should I go? Heading there now. I am your hum. I make haste. Whenever you need me. I'm up. Yeah, that'll hurt. Uh... Let's get a lane squad in here. Whenever you need me. Understood. Merely ask, and it shall be done. Brace yourself. Any thanks for your streams? Had to wait until today. Oh, chat's moving too quick. If you got my copy of the game, your contents will keep me hyped. Much love and enjoy the holiday. You as well, Alexander. Enjoy the game, my guy. Absolutely. You choose which countries you go to, or is it linear? You can choose. Uh, there is a linear level progression, but nothing's stopping you from going to a higher level place out of order. You can figure out how to like get through the squads guarding it, which is totally possible. Uh, and then just figure out how to survive there, which you can totally do. Uh, friend of the channel and extremely knowledgeable strategy RPG player and content creator, Coffee Potato, did exactly that for his first run. He broke into Pistorius really early when you're supposed to go Cornea, Drakenhold, um, Elheim, and then Pistorius. He went to Pistorius first after Cornea and did his campaign from there. It seemed like it was super interesting, so you can totally do it. And that was on um, Xbox. Brits do lamb for Easter. Uh, not surprised that turkey slash ham in America eat all those meats. There is actually lamb as well. I saw when I was at the store the other day. They've got rack of lamb, like in lamb, all that type of stuff. Um, but, you know, we've got like our free grocery points over here. Like if you have X amount of points built up from grocery purchases, then you can turn in a certain amount of them to get a free ham or turkey or lasagna, actually. Uh, which I didn't expect. That was interesting. So. And free is good, so and I like turkey. I also don't know how to pre prepare lamb. I've never prepared it. Before, so. Tis True, yeah, you can't get to Albion until you do either Elheim or Pistorius. That's completely correct. Definitely use the expert slash TZ tips. I mentioned this last time, but normal does not set you up. Oh, yeah, no. No, if you're playing on normal, you don't need to think. <laughs> like, at all. Imagine you tr uh, start Trues and Urin in the game ask if you want to carry over your higher chance to get saved. That would be super cool, yeah. That would be super, super dope. I don't know how they would make that work, but it would be really, really cool. <laughs> Your orders, sir. Your orders, if you would. There Advancing. Your orders, if you would. Advancing. Whenever you need me. Pop another liquid fortune. At this point in the game, like, you get Time so much money just from myself. clearing the squad that, like, you more than recoup the cost of the liquid fortune you use to beat them up, so you get net money and also a good chunk of XP. 
This is nothing. Another step on the path of progress. To forge a brighter. Hope you're paying me more for this. Yo, look at that. We netted 1,800 there. Awesome. Hi, bye, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Jane came out here to claim blankets from the couch and then ran back to the bedroom. Oh yeah, it would make it hard to balance, Kai. I'm just saying it'd be cool. So how much Feverite do I have at this point? I have to look. Because we're coming up on two more weapon upgrades again. In fact, we absolutely have enough for two more weapon upgrades. Nice. Come with some timing, warriors of the Liberation. We had grown weary of living under the Zenoiran rule, and I'm certain we're not the only ones. Their oppressive ways are a blight on our lands. In any case, you may leave the town to us from here forth. Very nice. Whew, look at all those mats, goddamn. Uh, well, let's see what the town has going on. Out of guards. We'll see where we wind up by the time we clear Albion. If I have to just recruit some schmucks to fill everything out by the end, then that's fine. Do let me know if you require assistance. Battle line standard. Heavy alignment. Activates at the start of a battle. Grants a row of allies buffs based on the number of armored targets. One grants plus 20% guard rate. Two grants stun immunity. Three grants plus 20% defense. Interesting. Very interesting. What was Kai responding to? The idea that, like, if you could carry over your previously hired units to True Zenoir. Kind of like a new game plus deal. Hey, Underworld Gaming, Fighter, Soldier, Cleric, Priestess, Griffin Knight, Feather Units, Hoplite, Lord, and Saint Knights will be usable for the Holy Army slash Crusade run idea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of as well. That is exactly what I was thinking of. Um, and I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think that'd be very interesting. You do have a well-rounded unit there. Absolutely. So, yeah, I think that could be fun. You could maybe use Prince as well, potentially. Oh, and Crusader, of course. Obviously, hello. Crusader slash Valkyrie, 100%. Well, Soldier and Sergeant, same thing. <laughs> it's good you showed up when you did, because give me another day and I'd have done something that would lose me my status as a lawful good servant of the Divine. Yeah, all of the Feather Swords are like Oclis. They're just super hotheads that barely have it contained all the time. <laughs> Going off classes, I know not their promoted forms. Well, even then, they're still Crusader, which is Virginia's base form. Much difference between the full game's expert difficulty and the demos. Some stuff got uh, nerfed for the full release. Angels are pre-promoted, yep. Paladin would be usable, absolutely. Standard's not bad, just really needs a well-dedicated build to make it work. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, Grand Magus's staff activates after an enemy attacks with an active skill. Count. Oh. Counterattack all enemies with magic. All. Oh. Inflicts initiative minus 10. Okay. Um. Wow. I wish we had more characters that could use this. <laughs> Kind of a shame that we don't, because that's awesome, but our only two sorceresses are both dedicated to the uh, the Trinity Reign team. But I'm going to get it regardless, just in case. Uh, Elite Beret. We'll get another one of each of these. The veteran's eye patches are good. Cloth gauntlets, yep. May the fog, I hope...
We actually have a rapport conversation up there. It's rare to see those nowadays. Oh, hello. Random boat. And also octopus carving. Oh. This is where we came in from Elheim. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good to see that connection back. Nice. What fools you must be to raise your blade against the messengers of heaven. Prepare to suffer divine justice. Ma'am, I regret to inform you that you are going to suffer here. Minus 10 initiative counterattack, pardon the language, that seems like a weapon designed to just say, fuck off, and he would be attacker. Oh, for sure. So we're to see what classes are queued up for Truzen Neuren. who's going to submit a merc and wanted to see what is in short supply. Uh, to see it easily, not really. I've got the bulk of it in uh, my Word doc here. I think there's a couple that I haven't had the chance to add yet. Uh, I can give you the quick rundown, though. We've got a werefox, a werebear, a unit of my choosing from Bo, which is nice. Um, a werewolf from Unborn, so a bunch of vestrals thus far. Uh, a great knight from Grimm. A doom knight from Daniel. Uh, another werebear from Xylo. Another were fox. And I believe that's it thus far. That's all I've got queued up anyway. Uh, at least in my word doc, I think. There was a Patreon one. There's probably a couple YouTube member ones. Let me take a look quick. Just to be safe. Oh shit, Get Dave posted a channel update. I'm gonna have to check that out. I don't know if y'all know, but Get Dave is an old school YouTuber. Uh, I'm most familiar with his Tactics Ogre Let's Play, which was the first one I ever watched when I was first trying to learn how to play the game back when I first played it on the PSP. Uh, so I big, big place in my heart for his channel. Love that Let's Play, it was super cool. I know he's been actually off making his own game for a long time, so I'm not sure what he's up to. I'm excited to see what he has to say. Okay, so. Actually, might be up to date on the members post as well. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I'm actually caught up on the YouTube members post as well. So there you go. The rundown I gave you, that's what we've got thus far. Ronica on Sunday, I'll get the games to seeing the streams and steal the squad videos, give me ideas and good units. Uh, until Alheimer Beast. Hell yeah, man. That's the goal. Absolutely. I was thinking of submitting a Griffin slash Radiant Knight because they're some of my favorite classes. I still haven't decided. I mean, I'll gladly accept them, but I'll gladly accept whatever you want to submit, Kai. Absolutely. Never used Patreon before, but I signed up just so you can get a Warlock and use that magic burst if you want. Well, hey, that's awesome, Matthew. Thank you. That's incredibly kind of you. Holy smokes. That is awesome. Yeah, I might... Hmm. I 
I might be able to squeeze you into this one. I don't know if... Hmm, I don't know, though. If anything, I'll have you banked for the next one, but... Also, hey, Feather Staves! This is the first time we've seen them outside of the bad ending, I think. No. No, we saw them last stream. We did, for just a second. We did see them for just a second. I was wondering if there was a way that I could look to see if they could use the staff, but I don't think we can. Uh, anyway, so... I think we just say screw the mines my and fly directly over them, honestly. I make for battle. Let's stay calm out there. Heading there now. I mean, congratulations, you congratulations, you're hasting. It's what like they lose and then they just get to Shall go again. Brace yourself. Oh no. They're just going to die anyway. I don't entirely understand this maneuver. Who knows clearly where rat material? True. I think the sorcerer's boxing gloves work next run. Wait, what? Hold on. Yes. Oof. God, these little, like, feather staves remind me of 9S from Nier Automata, so I feel bad bullying them like this. <laughs> Who was it that wanted the feather staff? Because they should know they can only be male. Uh, that was... Game Lover. Oh yes, game over so requested far, so a good. feather staff named Angelica. That won't quite you got orders work for me? yet. Although of course I can can get Where as close as possible to the name Angelica. Understood. Game over if you happen to be here Advancing. and you want to give us your input, because that's probably gonna be happening this year's stream. Been waiting for this. Oh, there were Time thieves hiding in the bushes. Themselves. As they so often do. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Whenever He's gonna be able to get the dub here. Oh, we'll see. On to me. Don't oh don't you delay me. That's rude. Brace yourself. Nope, there we go. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, boo. Let's keep going. Yoinkies. My town now. Bye bye. Really like how powerful ice feels just stopping them dead in their tracks, not even an idle animation. Yeah, it's really nice. Wouldn't Gamble be a rat though, or maybe a snake? A rat snake. Still playing this game, of course, Arava. It's a big game. We're gonna be doing a second run after this. Servant of the People trophy earned. Hello. Completed 150 quests. Nice. What would the giant woman be? Probably werebear. Or like a were elephant or something. Hey, first stream. Hello. Hello, trade. How you doing? Ooh, Elaine and Ocleese. Jeez, to get your first rapport conversation, you have to come here with them? Holy smokes. I demand to be part of your unit in the next battle, Elaine. And I would be honored to have you, except for all these mercenaries who I'm inclined to keep in the squads. Yet I wonder, is there a particular reason you're asking? Because you're better than anyone else at staying out of my way. And because we fight well together. When any wrong move could be the last you make, there can be no greater blessing than a trusted ally. You mean to imply you trust me, then? I'm glad to hear it. That was purely a hypothetical, I'll have you know. All I'm saying is that your skill is adequate. She's blushing, chat. The sun is strong with this one. Which is a compliment in itself coming from you. Thank you, Oclise. You've got some nerve. Huh. Take it however you want. 
And I confess, I trust deeply in you as well. Each of us bears strong proficiency with a shield, allowing us to press the attack while keeping our defenses raised. And given the swiftness of your blade and the precision of its thrusts, I know I never need to worry when, I've at you at, or when I view at my side. Ah! Oh, please. If that's truly how you feel, then you'd better just keep me there. At your side, I mean. And you best not think of doing otherwise, understand? <laughs> I hadn't realized she cared so much. I'll see Elaine knows, though, man. He knows. You see that smirk he had? He realized the power that he has. Oh, first it was in Elheim. Okay. Oh, he equals Wermoose. <laughs> Serious Sundere, yeah. Uh, you're welcome for delivering those supplies, random soldier. Do let me know if you require assistance. Grizzly poison, huh? That's okay, but not ten thousand gold, okay? Welcome to my humble store. Look around as much as me. No, thank you. Not interested in your wares. The walled city of Paston is guarded by the Heaven's Wing Knights, faithful order of the orthodoxy itself. Maybe we can convince them to let us pass. Ah, the gentleman who's on the thumbnail, I see. Look at oh, this unit. Your banners do not fly Zenoiran colors. Photoquia! <laughs> Photoquia! Having second thoughts, will you maybe romance a different character next run if you get the chance to? Oh, for sure. Can't just stick to one character every run. That would be boring. And I cannot permit a band of armed civilians to pass without cause. Pronounce yourselves. Well, I have here Scarlet, Elaine, the daughter of the Pontifex. Army. Our fight is one to free the peoples of this land and wrest our home from Zenoira's tyrannical clutches. You ought not have any quarrel with us. Please, stand by our side in the battles to come. Mm, your identities are made plain, then. But it appears there's been a misunderstanding. Albion has ceded its lands to our new emperor, Galerius. You stand on Zenoiran territory now. And not a soul among us desires liberation. <laughs> How can that be? Sir Elaine. If you truly seek no quarrel with us, then leave this place. Hmm. I will claim I saw nothing. So not mind control. But no, when next your gauntlets rap at our gates, you'll find neither mercy nor hesitation. Now, be gone. Our scout has returned, your highness. It would seem conditions in the city are less than ideal. Forget about valuables. The houses I saw barely had any food. These people are doing all they can just to scrape by. Heavy taxation has left the populace with scarcely enough to eat, let alone stock their larders. And those who succumb to hunger or cold are left in the mud to await their inevitable ends. They crave freedom. Desperately so. Quite the contradiction, given the words of that night earlier. And yet, he didn't seem to be one for deceit. <laughs> Big guy, little wings, Not hell yeah. reason, perhaps. But it's possible we lack the full scope of the situation. Indeed. In any case, we cannot overlook the plight of these people. Come, we march at once. I do love the color-coded squad on the right. That's so great. Hi, Clive. We haven't seen you for, like, three whole countries. That's also very true. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. The one thing we'll do quick, Jesus Christ. The 
the fucking stealth do knights? The one thing we'll do quick is, um... We'll go over and to see if we can't get a couple upgrades. And then we'll push forward. Oh yeah, we get three actually, very nice. I was playing, notification didn't pop, had troubles getting this to start, was in the middle of a fight in Albion myself. Well, welcome, Comarin, I'm glad that you finally made it. I feel like a hand mirror wear line could be fun. Oh, probably, yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. Gale Cutter. Ooh, I forgot about that. Huh. And it gives evasion plus 20. Hmm. That's actually potentially a really good option. The Sanguine Blade is definitely a strong option. In fact, I think I'm going to do this. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Dark Knight Cleaver, Desperation. The fact that that's a true hit and unguardable is pretty wild. Morning Star, the Banishing Hammer. Well, that's the Banishing Hammer Plus. I, f I need to put that on Charlotte. I forgot. Dragon Bone Axe, the Bandit's Hand Axe. Like, we have a lot of things that we could upgrade, for sure. Honestly, the Bandit's Longsword is probably one of them. <laughs> what does a Copper Band upgrade to? You know, that is a good question. Uh, I think because it's an accessory, we can't upgrade it. Dragoon's War Spirit probably a good option. We've been using this pretty consistently. Yeah, I think we're going to do this one. It's a big damage dealer. All right. Now, who would want Gale Cutter? Surely I must have somebody who would. The issue is it doesn't have any magic damage on it. It's all physical. So we would want this on like over here. But I like the crit there. Maybe like here. Sabine would probably like it. Where the hell is it? There it is. And then we actually do this. I can't... I can't switch it like that. Okay. Do it this way. Um, do double blast if there's flying. Flying enemies present, and then prioritize flying. Then do this. Cool. Good. Do I have any quick impetus formations? Yes. Right here. Trinity to rain. Hasten to action. Quick impetus. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> 
gonna pretend that whenever you use the blacksmith, it's Antonio actually doing it. Oh yeah, I imagine we go to the blacksmith and he's like the one telling this guy what we need done. And the guy who runs the forge is like, you know, maintaining the fires and everything and Antonio's doing all the smithing. It's a fun idea. All right, here we go. The battle for Paston. Ooh, interesting. So, this is your response. Then you leave me no choice. I accept your challenge. I'm imagining that this is how we get him, right? If I had to guess? Because, like, we don't technically have to do this fight. But at the same time... I, hmm. I'm trying to think. Is there another way that we would get here? I don't think so. Okay, Heaven's Wing Archer Squad, yikes. Uh Hmm. I mean really we just run them down with something that doesn't care about being blinded and it's fine. Hell, we could even use oh yeah, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use our druid squad that blinds on them. And then they can't hit us with their blinds. <laughs> Which, if I remember correctly, is you, yes. Joining the battle. Your orders, please. <laughs> right away. Then. We're going to Quinn's unit the for the assists. And then. Super tax bros. Whenever you need me. Handle there now. now. Wherever you'd like me. As you command. I am your humble sir. As you wish. Allow me. We shall prevail as one. Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? We're doing quite well, Easy Michael. There. Good to have you. Hope you are also doing well. Oh, you're working on your game's demo segno. Nice. Very cool. I can't wait to see it. Triumph is at hand. Yield to me. Haha, <laughs> you can't see to blind me. Bonk. Witness my power. You can't see to hit me. Sandstorm is so insanely strong. I can take a hit. Oh no, you got a hit in on me. Whatever shall I do? Oh no. Hold on. Good thing I can refresh my entire front line. And then heal them. God, I love this team. Bonk. Oh, don't worry. We'll hit you eventually. We're delaying the inevitable. We already know that we win here. The game told us. Who's going to get the hit? Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's you, isn't it? Rolling the 50? Yeah, there we go. Very satisfying. Well well done, Eckert. Well done. Enemy unit defeated. I use the blindness to destroy the blindness. <laughs> Your orders, please. Where should I go? Advancing. How I cast I magic missile Wherever at the darkness. Like Sir. Time to prove myself. Allow me to assist. Oh, damn. Wow. The damage difference from that ranged assist. Holy shit. I'm guessing it's because it allows us to clear the uh, feather staves. <laughs> Our efforts shall not come to naught. <laughs> I mean, you guys can give the Feather Staff 
all of the AP. I don't know that it's really going to help you. In fact, we know it's not going to help you because you're going to die horribly, but... Here we go. Time for the bonkening. Bonk. 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 Do it again. I dare you. Bonk. 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 Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Bonk. 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 I'm waiting for one of these bastards crosses to hit. It's gonna be glorious when it does. I'm unstoppable. Ooh, there we go. There's a heavy slash. Yep, you got that big recovery up, buddy. Ooh, the backswing taking him down. Imagine if it was all senses, though, the flailing around. <laughs> How's that for good? The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Been a long time since I've heard that magic missile reference. I mean, I am an old denizen of the internet, Comarin. Let's keep going. I am an old denizen, indeed. Whenever you need me. All right, well, that is the majority orders, of them please. dealt with. Right away. Your orders. May as well just push forward at this point. I don't think this squad is going to have any recourse against us, actually. Understood. Now that I think about it. Success. Like three feather swords. Or no, two feather swords and a couple of feather shields. I don't think will be a successful against or defense against our lads here. Your orders, sir. Also, Amalia breaks down gates like instantly, so let's just. Well, Charlotte should also do it. Got it. Whenever you need me. If I'm remembering Heading correctly. There now. What should I do? Sir. Okay, not instantly, but pretty quick. There we go. Your we have gained entry. Wood. Advancing. Your orders, please. Right away. Took you long enough. This should be easy. How may I assist? I make haste. Goodbye. Hello. Enemy unit defeated. Where should I go? Understood. Whenever you need me. Where should I start? Gladly. My aim is to bring these guys down with super tax bros. There we are. Your orders, if you would. Let's pop that liquid fortune. Beautiful. Here we go. Time for Brace money, money, yourself. money, money, money. I forgot to give Charlotte the new hammer. Don't let me forget to do that after we clear this. Look at my comment, Tom. I can't wait to do all the bonks. Put <laughs> my hands together greedily. Hell yeah, man. It's going to be good. Well, we don't know who the main villain is for the Albion campaign yet. I have not encountered them. The time is limited here, Feather Sword. There we go. Ooh. Simple enough. Woo, the levels. Spicy. Very nice. To forge a brighter dawn for Feverin. Another step on the path of progress. Woo. Look at that level for Maxim, man. Wow. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. So far, so good. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, what say ye, sir? An impressive show of strength, Sir Elaine. I like this guy. Tell me, Seems Fedokia, honorable. why did you lie to us? Fedokia. Your people surely seek respite from the suffering of Zenoiran rule. Not the, not, not what I was expecting that to be, but I'll take it. You have the wrong of it. When the Empire came forth and began violating our land, 
I fought back with every ounce of my being. I was prepared to oppose their rule until our final soldier fell. As were my people. They stood by me and risked their very lives in defending this sacred ground. But six months passed, and then a year. The pain of a citizenry besieged grew fiercer and fiercer, until at last there came the breaking point. It's funny, I've been consuming a lot of Warhammer 40k lore the last couple of days, because uh, I just have a lot of time to listen to stuff at work. These are beaten, and, broken uh, souls. Just knowing, like, and yet the centuries-long sieges of Imperial hive worlds at the hands of orcs and tyranids and whatnot. And then this guy's like, yeah, one year passed and I couldn't bear the pain of my citizenry any longer. It's like, buddy, you don't know what true war is, if that's the case. Jeez. Not in the darkness of the 41st millennium, that's for damn sure. Hey, Roy Eckstein has subscribed. Welcome, Roy. Thank you for joining us. Very good to have you, sir. Hope you're enjoying your time around the channel. Sanguinius, yeah. On that day, my own subjects kidnapped oh. my son and demanded we lay down our arms. Oh, interesting. Okay. I wasn't expecting that little twist or twist. Fair enough, Fedokia. That's horrible. Yet it only worsened from there. By Zenoiran orders, they massacred my child and offered his corpse as a sacrifice to our new masters. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. Okay. That's more brutal than I was expecting. Okay, maybe we are hitting some Warhammer 40k levels of stuff. Sounds like there's some chaos insurgency here. Barbarians. I was well prepared to follow him beyond the veil of death, but Zenoira had no interest in executing me. They chose to leave me in power to exploit my rage and my despair for their own nefarious purposes. Oh, I can't wait to get to the Trues and Iron campaign and use this guy. I'm in love with this character already. So, I bent to the will of my people, and the path they chose to walk was that of subjugation. Lord Fedokia. You might not realize this, but mm -hmm. we've met before. Years ago, when I was just a young girl. Yes, that is why I said that to your question, Comarin. <laughs> your son and I were quite close, in fact. As for you, I remember a man of great integrity, great warmth. And though we were too young to understand much of it, you spoke often of the true makings of a lord, of the love such a role requires. Yes. I recognize you now. You have grown so much since I saw you last. <coughs> the time has finally come to see my son once again. Oh, interesting. Huh. Oh, this actually feels like a little bit of an interesting moral quandary, right? I mean, it doesn't feel like it. It is. Like, Scarlet can definitely save him, for sure. No doubt about that. And I mean, we're going to. But the idea of letting him pass on and hopefully reuniting with his son. I mean, that's a fair choice, too, I would say. Imagine the decision is timed. Yeah, jeez. No, we're definitely going to rescue him. No doubt about that. But I could see a world where you could choose to let him pass as well. Just to be with his boy. Not while you can still honor his memory. If you would, Scarlet.
Get up. The living aren't done with you yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that was... Ooh, ooh, I liked that. Some of these little character stories, man. They get you. Cool. It appears my mission is yet unfulfilled. Allow me to accompany you for the sake of all those who dare to dream of a brighter future. Woohoo! Very nice. Defensive-oriented warriors that are highly resistant to magic attacks. Indeed, indeed. I must admit, you're just as impressive as the rumors claim. Perhaps our fortunes are finally shifting for the better. Perhaps indeed. There we go. Okay. All right. So, I ask again. I'm assuming that you are not here. However, just to check. Where the hell did the post go? Game lover 2222. We are about to recruit your feather staff. They, I do not believe, are going to be able to be named Angelica, given that they are male. We'll check, just in case. We cannot name them Angelica. However, I am more than happy to give them an A name and follow all of the other conditions here, just to get them in. And that is what we will do if Game Lover is not here. Yeah, I don't think Game Lover is here. Okay. Preset names. Yeah. Yeah, it's honestly, for me, the biggest drawback of the game. It's not a huge, huge deal, but I do really wish we could just name our characters. Lots of Christian angel names, Michael Gabriel, etc. Oh, of course, of course. Saw Leaf and Roy as options for names. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. There's some good firearm names in here. Um, closest name to Angel would be... A mighty sword oh arm anchored I by guess. a holy purpose. A zealous warrior. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but Aureus is a good one, for sure. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. I would say probably Aureus or Adelaide. Those are probably the closest. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. <laughs> oh, God. I, all I see is here Lightwing say, here it comes, and then immediately a after Michael with the five gifted. <laughs> holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Oh, shit. <clears throat> well, as always, Michael, thank you so much for the generosity, you absolute mad lad. A mighty uh, and welcome. Arm anchored by holy purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to Berto Ryan Casey, Almir. Uh, oh God, my apologies. Almir Conci. These are beaten, broken souls. Maybe. And yet our fortunes uh, ride Maria with and them. Pop up. Or pop up. Pop up. Pop up tea. Pop up tea. Have all been gifted new memberships. Welcome everybody. Hope you enjoy your beans and your time here on the channel. Very good to have you all with us. You may submit a character for the next campaign if you'd like. <laughs> Michael, don't you dare. And so it begins. <laughs> God damn it, Michael. <laughs> Frank the Angel. <laughs> do any of the names match any of the classes of the angels? Uh, how do you mean? Aureus is cool. Aureus is a good one, yeah. Strange how the names are not alphabetically listed. So, we actually figured this out. Uh, the names are alphabetically listed in Japanese. And then they're just directly translated over into other languages and left in the order that they were in Japanese. <laughs> oh, Powers, Thrones, Dominions. Okay, okay, that's what you meant. Was that you subscribing? It was you subscribing. Welcome, Nirufa, as well, for subscribing. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Glad to see you coming and sticking around.
Yeah, I think... I think it's going to have to be Aureus. And then if Game Lover is not happy with that, I'm happy to have a dedicated character, like top of the priority list for him for the second campaign. I think that's going to be the way that we handle this. All right. Let's go with it. Aureus the Feather Staff. I do like it. It sounds nice. Um, Hardy Defensive. Got it. There we are. White hair. A mighty sword arm anchored there we are. by holy purpose. Colors are blue and white. Warrior. Eye blinder blue fleas. Okay. I believe that's Okay, the accent color. So let's see. I think bronze is gonna be the way we go there for that. And then colors are blue and white. So if we've got a blue visor, I think then white accent would be the way to go. And then black color blue. I guess we could go blue. Hmm. I kind of like the aqua. But what if we went like this? Hmm. What do you guys think? Blue coat or white coat? And then the opposite for the sash. I kind of like this. Hey, David Vides joined as well. Welcome, David. Thank you for joining us. Very, very good to have you. Hope you're having a grand old time around here. Oh, yeah, I saw you, Daniel. I saw you. It is what it is. Got any normal feather units yet, by the way? Uh, with this, we'll have one of every feather unit, Chris. I'll head to bed so I can have less of a wait time for my copy of UO to come in. Where do I go to put down what unit I would like to be in your TZ run? Uh, if you go to the community page, David, you should now be able to see all the members only posts. If you scroll down like a post or two, you should see I have a post there with a big banner about like unit submissions, all the rules, all the customization options. You just comment there with whatever it is that you'd like and I'll be able to add it to my Word doc. Blue looks so serene. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to go with this. Oh, nope, not gold hair. There we go. I like it. The white matches the white of the sash and the blue visor and the blue coat. That's pretty cool. Uh, as for the voice, any enthusiastic voice? Heading out. Getting out of here. All set. I hope I can still help. Right away. I've reached my destination. We've secured it. I like sincere. Sincere one, definitely. That's it. Locked in. Welcome, Arius. I'm These very excited to have you. And that, as far as I know, is the last of them. all of the classes in the game that we needed to recruit. I'm pretty sure. Which is awesome, by Do the way. Know if you require assistance. Ooh, Hunter's Halberd. Follow-up skills deal plus 20 damage and critical rate plus 10%. That is interesting. However, there's a Sapphire Pendant, so that's the immediate May pickup. The Father bless you. Cranebow. Triple shatter. Attack three enemies, inflict physical attack and magical attack minus 50%. Ooh, that is nice. Okay. And then Cleric's Cane. Protection. Reduce damage taken by a row of allies by 50% for one attack. Also not bad. Pick that up too. May the Father cool. bless you. Very cool. I love whenever we get to any of these. Oh, a bunch of status immunity sh great shields. Nice. I love when we get to these big, like, three-tiered cities. And we have all sorts of cool new gear that we can buy. It's always fun. Still for an explanation of the mask on the generic angel. There's got to be a reason for some of them just being an aesthetic thing. I would not be surprised if it was, like, a see no evil thing. Have you gotten honed slash for my feather sword? I believe so. I'll have to take a look at her, but I think we did, yeah. Everything in this game is so damn expensive. Oh, dude, I know. Many valuable magical relics. 
stands the reason that they would be pretty pricey, I suppose. Oh, goat milk. We have to find more goats to feed. Okay. So, the question here, who's getting cut? Who is it going to be? Uh, yeah, there's Honed Slash for our Feather Sword, by the way. We do have that. Uh, so, our options are Amalia, Lex, and Bruno. This is a tough one. This is a very tough one. <laughs> Elaine and Berengaria are no-goes because Elaine, I've, I've already decreed I'm keeping in because he's our hero and I want to use him. And then Berengaria as our wife who is also staying in for the same reason. So, man. Lex got to go. He lasted long enough. Not Bruno. I know. I don't want to do Bruno. I don't want to do Lex either. I love Lex, man. And he's very good for this squad for protecting our Wyvern Master. I'm kind of leaning towards Amalia, honestly. Oh, Charlotte's Hammer. Yes. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, thank you. Where the heck is she? Over here. Uh, yes. There we go. Yeah, Banishing Smite, absolutely. I guess we should do this and have it set to uh, buffed. Because then if they're not buffed, we go with Row Smash. That's going to deal more damage and be unguardable and everything. Makes sense. These are beaten, broken souls. Oh, Berto has subscribed and, and John Squared has subscribed. Welcome. Very good to have you. Very good to have you. Beat Amalia today. Very nice, Louise. Very nice. Combining Bestial units with other units. Oh, I can see it being strong. Yeah, absolutely. Charlotte's me tenderizer. <laughs> Bring out the band hammer. Charlotte got the mod power. <laughs> how often is he actually using arrow cover, though, and how often is it actually mattering? I mean, I'd say it's mattering often enough. And, like, this squad certainly doesn't need a healer either. Like, having him as a frontliner with Defender, the guarding impetus and everything, getting extra attacks... Having the arrow cover the quick guard, like, it's letting this squad do their job. Whereas, like, realistically, Amalia is just damaged, but this squad does not need that. Granted, they also already have a cleric, but I can shuffle some stuff around. I think it's going to be Amalia. Plus, then I can reclaim this Ruby Pendant and Sapphire Pendant from her. Goodbye, Amalia. It was a pleasure having you while we had you, ma'am. Uh, now, the question is, whom do I want to fill this spot? Is that John Squared Squared or John Squared 2? That is a very good question, actually, X13. Who do you, I use my dues on? Uh, I would definitely pump a lane up first, if, presuming you're using him. Um, and then I would focus on whatever your big damage dealers are for your primary squads. So, how do I want to do this? The other thing... Well, I was going to say, we can move Antonio over here for a tank, because this squad doesn't really need a tank, since they tend to just obliterate everything anyway. The other thing I could do is I could take Calvane, move him over here. And then... 
we could bring you down here. And then give these guys a little bit of healing, which they actually kind of desperately want. <laughs> And we'd probably then drop the Pursuance Bracelet and add a Scarf here to add extra evade. I have so many good accessories and just no <laughs> know where to put them all. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now, as for what you actually have going on, Aureus, I need to, like, relearn what you can do here, because I'm not super familiar with the class. They're gonna think a little more when going about choosing your wife for Elaine a little bit more carefully, Tom. I mean, I thought about it, and I like Berengaria. I do have two lucky coins, that's true. That is true. Hmm, I have to think about it. Uh, Holy Cradle. They get the ability to withstand a blow. Don't they get that naturally, though? Yeah, so I don't need that. In fact, may as well just get you to 30 before I even worry about doing anything else. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I can make that happen. All right, fine. I won't stop now. Okay. So now we've got Holy Cradle. What else do I want on you? Yeah, that'll actually be pretty decent here. Give the front line a little bit of extra resilience. I do like that. for the scrub guard squad. I we're probably gonna wind up having to get some generics, yeah. We'll just pick up some recruits from Corny and drop them into Albi and be like, good luck. Row of Allies buff that doubles HP restored when healing not super needed here. Overheal is definitely really nice though. Holy breath. Activates for an ally attacks. Restore minor HP to an ally. Target is afflicted, remove the affliction, or grant the user plus one passive points. That is pretty nice. That we're probably going to set to target is afflicted, which we should be able to do. Correct. Preemptive heal activates before an ally is attacked. Restore moderate HP to an ally. Uh, if target HP is less than 50%, then haste and heal. Start of a battle, we don't want that. Okay. Now, I definitely want Holy Cradle. I think we're going to actually give him the extra Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, I have two Sapphires available now. Right, because I bought another one. I forgot. Cool. So we can Holy Cradle. And... We're going to set this to... One AP is four or more. And then... Drop this and say combatant status is not buffed. Actually, no, I don't want honed healing. I want it overheal. Yeah. And I, this I would just say front row. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, we don't need this staff, obviously. We could put something else on here that we would want him to use. Does Holy Cradle work well with bulk up? Probably. Really thought that he'd do Tatiana. I mean, Tatiana's definitely a good choice as well. But we also haven't really used her at all, so I don't know her characterization that well. We know Barangari is more. Love how Antonio's in the Trinity Rain squad because of how fast Trinity Rain destroys everything. He just stands there and looks cool. He's there just in case we need the backup. Parting res Resurrection might not actually be bad here, honestly. Just in case somebody gets downed.
Yeah, we're gonna go with that. This way we'll use it once. Okay. Finally. Is that target HP thing for when the enemy is uh, less than 50% or is that red triangle fooling me? Uh, it's supposed to be like a down arrow of like a you are less than type thing. What could be good for you? Your passive points are already pretty much locked up, so I don't really want to add anything else for that. Interestingly, you could actually use the Necromancer's Lantern. Could you do something that gives extra evasion? Toss him just a scarf, just in case he gets attacked in the back line. All of our plumes are in use, or I would say that could be a good option as well. Conversely, Sage's Hood just for extra healing. Not a bad choice as well, especially if we're going for the overheal. I think that's going to be the play. There's a house fire behind my kid's house. Oh, well, I hope everyone's all right. Jesus. Hello, Game Reaper. Ah, I forgot that Mother Lily's staff gives an extra passive point. Cool. So we can switch this. That's nice. Although, God, I don't even have a spare lapis sitting around. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I feel like our feather bow is happy to have a sapphire instead. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, now... Let's give you a lucky coin, which is here somewhere. There we are. So that'll give us the extra evasion as well. Uh, and then you also want a lucky coin. Nice. And then I still have another sapphire, right? Am I misremembering that? I do, cool. So, who would want another sapphire? Everyone's out and safe. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. 2.17 a.m. here, so I'm going to call it a night. Have a great Easter weekend, all. You as well, Matthew. You as well. Thank you for being here. Who would I want to have extra passive points? Like, who doesn't already have them? Could go... Could go here for extra flame conferral if I wanted. Not a terrible idea, but at that point, the they're going to collapse pretty quick. Might not be necessary. Where do I actually need an extra passive point? I don't even know, man. Like, we're doing pretty damn well in terms of our points around here. We could just go here and upgrade from the Lapis. I think that works. Cool. Alrighty. 
that is everybody. Let us proceed. Don't want to say to talk to this angel. Having my possession a supply of peculiar hand mirrors said to bear immense magical energy. They allow you to change your appearance however you wish and even alter your hair color should you so desire it. Would you care to trade for one? I believe 30 honors should be a fair price. Interesting. Very, very cool. Um, the question is, do I actually even need one? Because at this point, all of the uniques that we're using have one? Although I'm tempted to get one just to change like a unique for the sake of it. What's she spending honors on? Great question, Segna. Screw it. We've got plenty of honors coming our way. Give me one. Cool. Who do I want to use this on? Um... Warrior Angel, dude. That's kind of what I was thinking of, George. That would be cool. I do want to see what he looks like in the army's colors. Him or... Well, no, we already changed Amalia, right? God, we've used so many of these. Screw it, let's go. Funny he has double go-getter. What a strange growth type. <laughs> well, we're definitely going to go Guardian and defensive here, just to help his physical defense. Not that we're ever going to wind up using him. Um, this clearly needs to be orange. This clearly needs to be orange. This is, this is actually already... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty looking pretty cool. <laughs> Hair color black could also be good. But, I mean, I like the orange. And then accent two. Also black. I mean, that's pretty cool. Black and gold angel armor. I gotta go with the branding, though, man. I gotta go with the branding. And hopefully, he, he might show up in other cutscenes here, so we'll go with that. Witness the glory of an angel. Awesome. Kind of badass. Hell yeah. Gonna do any treasure maps or mining streams? Uh, or mining stuff? If we encounter anything, absolutely. I don't think we're gonna finish the game tonight. But yeah, any progress towards finishing things like that that we can do, I will absolutely do. So we can go north, or we can continue going south, which we may as well finish clearing stuff over here. Just carving through clerics. I'm not even looking at what their team comps are. <laughs> Just get rocked, my dude. Lest you'd like an arrow through your skull. Feisty, this one. Roastford. I'm about to roast your bones, lady. Do I have the materials for that one Pistorius town? I thought we finished it last stream, unless I'm not remembering correctly. Also, this is a tad aggressive. What is happening here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine units here? And they've got mines and stuff? Sorry, I didn't realize we'd walk up on the most fortified town in the land. What the hell? Huh. Interesting. I'm going to want some nasty AoE. Right, this is knockback. Uh, wild Rush would be really nasty here once they, at least once all the sergeants get lined up. Why are there just three squads of freaking sergeants, by the way? A thundercloud could also be pretty nice to start softening things up. 
We might do that. Nope. Get this one. Yeah. Get your sets unit out here. Your orders, sir. Just immediately start thunderclouding. Thunder! To the tune of Grinder. Okay. And obviously we're going to use a Halicorn Ash. Get another squad out here. Or two more squads out here. Um... Let's stay calm. Your order. Alexander's unit is going to deal with these guys. Out. And then. I make Pepe's battle. unit should actually be decent. Cool. That takes care of the mines for Time us. To prove myself. Bill's so just garrison your command and let them crash into you. I mean, that's true. I could. Where's the fun in that? When I could be the aggressor. Is Wrath really one of the seven sins? It seems like a very predominant angel trait. It does. Listen, y'all can accelerate all you want. It's not going to help you. Listen, you don't touch my wife. Assign no anguish to an empty purse. Okay, that really hurt. <laughs> but we've largely weathered the storm at this point. Not finished yet. Nice. Big sanguine pursuit. The vicious torment. See ya. Maybe you can protect us. <laughs> You're so done, buddy. Oof, nice. Here comes the Dragoon Dive! Goodbye! Not bad. Beautiful. Plus the extra heal, then the first aid, then the selfless heal. Nice. I love this squad. In that wrath, it's righteous fury. Hell yeah. Big so true far, on that. So good. Where should I go? All right, well, time to fly around the outside Understood. and bully the tower archers. I am your humble servant. Probably time to do the same thing over here, honestly. Three shield shooters, that's a problem for this team. Uh, I am your humble servant. I make haste. How may I assist? Forward. I fear death approaches. I'll not show mercy. There we go. Yeah, sainted knights, man. They don't mess around. All right, we're okay. Everything's fine. Oh, the big crit. Nice. Oh, this aerial smite is going to be nice. Yep. Beautiful, even through the holy guards. I've got you. Beautiful. I really appreciate all the shadow pursuits. Nice. Well done, team. No quitting now. I love first aid into selfless heal, man. It's so good. It's so, so good. Little stronger every day. I'm actually getting better at this. Mirage stab, nice. To forge a brighter dawn for Fevrith. So now, if we want, we can actually Such put him on the front line and keep our fighter at the back, which might not be a bad play, honestly. Apparently, that's how I already had it, and now we're just going to be better at it. Cool. Works for me. Um. Honestly, we're probably going to drop Nature's Wrath here and just have full row for this as well. Or full column, I should say. Cool. I am your humble servant, as you wish. Oh, your time to proceed. As you wish. Your orders, sir. I make haste. I am your humble servant. All right, looking pretty good thus far. Forward. 
Steal your resolve. I'll not show mercy. Yeah, all the range assists are pretty nasty. Oh, Game Reaper, super chatted five bucks. Sorry, I didn't see that. I was planning. What's the opposite of Hugh Jackman? Uh oh god, I don't know what that would be. The opposite of Hugh Jackman. Like, like Paul, Paul Noodleman? I, I don't know. Full column on a row attack. Did I read it wrong? I might have read it wrong. Oh yeah, it is a row of enemies. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wait, no, actually, no. Yeah, that'll work. Holy assist attacks, man. And I unfortunately don't have any more wind god chimes in it either. Owie. All right, let's maybe have you guys fall back a little bit. How about that? As you wish. We need just a orders, little bit more would. valor. Heading there now. Ah, uh, life aid two, orders, huh? Forward. All right, we take out this tower. That's going to help immensely. Let's keep going. Then Whenever we can also drop these Saint Knights. Not a problem. Looks like I win. And then Where actually, if we go? take out this tower, that should be Nearly more than enough. Plus, now they're out of assist range, so we can bully these guys. I can barely stand. Here we go. I can help. Nice. Wide breaker. I do really like Holy Cradle. It's a really cool idea. Making sure that this fragile team is able to survive on the front line is nice. Tax bros coming in. They might, yeah. We see that this team is going to do just fine, though, against these guys as well, so that's good. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Overheal. All right, all right, all right. Team's got some legs now. Little Ackman. Ah, there you go. There you go, gotcha. Gotcha, I see. <laughs> Such is war. Hugh Jackman. Little Ackman. There you go. Huge Ackman. Yep, I see it. I see it. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. I'll not show mercy. Hmm. Once again the range assists. Uh well, clearly we don't want our feather staff to die here. There we go. I stand Easy. I am your humble servant. I make haste. I have no fear of death. I depart. As well, we'll withdraw here. And then let's see how Charlotte's unit is doing now without Amalia. Alright, not terrible. They're not the best against blinds, so that's gonna be part of the issue there. I make for battle. I am your humble servant, as you wish. Time to prove myself. I can't move any farther. Beautiful. Your orders, sir. Forward. Steal your resolve. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. 
Your well, you guys can cool. rest, and then everyone here just close in, wish. beat them up, take their stuff. Shall I? Uh -oh. I fear death. Steal your resolve. Yes, yeah, see you all feathers. <laughs> A true nightmare. Allow me to assist. There we go. Bye bye. I can always train harder. This is my town now. A little stronger every day. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Beautiful. How many gold grinding items you found in this game thus far? Oh boy. Like six or seven? Something insane like that? You may want to reconfigure tactics so he heals himself when the front line is full health and it's not his first heal. Not a bad idea, yeah. All right. Very nice. Making good progress tonight. Only just hit two hours and we've already cleared a whole bunch of battles. Oh, we do still need to finish upgrading this. Yeah, we do still need to finish upgrading this Pistorius town. So let's do that quick, hopefully. Still need one more fucking unsullied scrap metal. Why is this the hardest thing on earth to apparently find? Goats! Give goat biscuit. Acquire milk. Give goat biscuit. Acquire milk. We need one more milk for that one town. Molly can't work at her peak performance now because she no longer has the motivation of Amalia's massive thighs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's big true, isn't it? Do let me know if you require assistance. Liberator staff. Dispel all. Removes all buffs from all allies. Well, yeah, there's a multiplayer piece if ever I've seen one. Jeez. I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment, but no we'll keep that in mind. Shall come to them. Oh wait, there's a church back here. Got ten shards, huh? I mean, I feel like we save for like the rains and stuff now. You had a weird super goat that gave a bunch of milk. So oh, really, interesting. Where's the unsullied scrap metal supposed to spawn? I don't know. We've had plenty of it in the past, so I don't know where the hell it spawns from that we haven't gotten it. Guardian's Fortress is my sacred duty. I'll not let you hinder its progress. Well, sorry, buddy, but, um... Oh, God. I would really like to enter the Fortress of or the Battle of Foxwell, so we're going to. And there's nothing Assign to do no anguish to an empty purse. Game Reaper super chatted, How does Reese eat her ice cream? With her spoon. Speaking of ice cream, use the chats to get yourself some. You too deserve it. Hey! Thank you, Game Reaper. I appreciate that, brother. I will definitely let Jane know that we've got some ice cream funds on hand. <laughs> she will be very excited. That's very kind of you. Does unsullied scrap metal even exist? That's a good question, actually, yeah. Alright, this is interesting. We've got a triple barricade. Healing team, not healing team. Alright. Let's stay calm out there. Where well, this is my go-to go tower destroying team. And then. Let me How do may this, I this, and then do this. Your orders, sir. And then do this. And then... 
I figure out more with Quinn's that. unit. How may I I've been a little underwhelmed with them thus far. I make haste. Your orders, sir. As you wish. Ah, hello, Switch hidden yourself. woods unit. So far, so good. I fear death approaches. Shall Holy I? assist, shall Batman. I am your humble servant. I make haste. Not a problem. Not even surprised. Your orders, if you would. To the Understood. boss, to the boss. Steal your resolve. I Down try, they sir. go. Your orders, sir. Forward. I'll not show mercy. The war rages on. Obliterate them. Where should I go? Heading there now. Steal your resolve. Allow me to assist. To forge a brighter dawn for Febreth. All right, light them up, team. As you wish. They're too much for me. We shall prevail as one. Huh. Man, the way a single ranged assist can change everything. I could really use a rest. I'll not show. Steal your resolve. Allow me to assist. All right, well their front liners are down, so this should be easy Shut cleanup up. time. Beautiful. Can always train harder. If I was in a fight against a sniper, I would simply fly to their location and hit them. Exactly, it makes perfect sense. Hey, see that Doom Knight squad with my schedule? I missed a bunch of streams. I want to see how you utilize the Doom Knight. Yes, yes, I will pull that up, Game Knight. Or Game Reaper. <laughs> Game Reaper, Doom Knight, you know. What was the explosion? Didn't look like Thundercloud. The explosion was the Thundercloud blowing up the... Um, Oh, actually, no, it was probably a, there was probably a hidden mine that the Thundercloud blew up. Because they can do that. Well, that was an easy one. Bunch of honors, a snack tray. How delicious. My birthday on Sunday. Wonder if you have anything on schedule. Uh, well, hard to say. Because it is Easter. And I'm pretty... Probably making a turkey. Also, maybe we'll be done with the first run by then? Hard to say. Depends on where we get to tonight, I suppose. Um, and then... Jane often goes and eats Easter dinner with her family because they're religious. So I'll probably make our turkey. Because they, you know, have like an early dinner. Um, and then while she's there, maybe stream or something? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Streaming tomorrow? Maybe. I have work tomorrow night, but potentially after I get out, depending on how far we get here. Turkey cooking tutorial stream, definitely. I definitely have a setup to facilitate that. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I don't want to dismiss any mercenaries. Shush. I was expecting this to literally be just a fort. Okay. Oh, cool. You can get either type of sergeant here. Nice. Um, well, I don't need to mess with any of this, so. Uh, yeah, let's just proceed. Oh, hey, a sigil battle. God, could this be the last one? Only a few, a few remaining now. I mean, I'd be amazed if there was another one other than this, unless I missed one somewhere. Or technically, I guess there could be someone, like, one somewhere in the north, but... Do we get some unsullied scrap metal? You know... I didn't pay attention. I do need to check the Doom Knight, though, for uh, Game Reaper. So, let's do that. So, this is what I've got going on for this squad. We've got Pierre the Great Knight here. 
who does all sorts of like you know normal cavalry things. Then we've got Leonhart the Doom Knight doing dark flame venom axe stuff, and then Eckhart doing basically the same thing just with a different set of gear. So these two together are really really adept at just clearing rows of dudes. I think you will simultaneously love and hate my members question, my friend. I did see it. I did see it. <laughs> it's a very interesting question. I'm, I think I know what the answer would be. Obviously, I'll hold off to answer it until I've given people a few days to submit questions, and then we do a Q&A on stream. But I think I have my answer. I think I have my answer. And we'll leave everyone in suspense as to what your question was until uh, we stream. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the Doom Knight squad. It's been really, really nice. Having the Bishop and the Druid in the back line for support, and then these guys just running roughshod over everything has been awesome. There is another one, probably isn't where you expect. Interesting. What do the Sigil Battles do? They're basically for grinding. They're basically for grinding. Um... So the quadruple tower situation here is a little rude. Plus, then there's this ballista. It's mainly four-man squads, it looks like, so it's not terrible. Where's my prey? What are we doing? Like Octavia just charges straight at them. And then we get Bruno out here. Yeah. Because the good thing is, is, while you're in the trees, you shouldn't be able to be assist attacked. What are we doing? From all of my experimentation. So if we stick to the ground, we should be largely okay. Gladly. Want some of this? So they can be assist healed, but I mean that's fine. Be over in a sec. All right, Yoinkies on that. Get on in it. the ballista. Where should I start? Got it. You don't stand a chance. Only them. I can always tell my. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Compound and curse. Yeah, not really feeling compound and curse. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm just gonna drop that. I'm more than happy what with what now? the team has going on as it is. No holding back. Just leap another step on the path. I will bully all of you with this ballista. Do Don't do think I won't. Not liking my chances. <sighs> Better. Something untoward is happening here. Huh. No, because they nuked my my uh, wyvern. That's all right. All set. We'll get him with the ballista now. This That's really all we need him to do. Something. Sure, sure. Uh, I'll handle this. Don't mind if I do. Also, may as well get the next team out here. I make for battle. How may I assist? I have just sets unit crossover. Forward. Uh, I'm up. I'll win the next one too. Took you long enough. Gladly. Show when in doubt, just got. carve through Enjoy all of their that. towers with reckless abandon. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Easy. You got orders for me? You may as well go Be home. There before you know it. You ready? <laughs> See ya, cavalry. Think I care at all about what you're bringing I'm to the up. table? Not fucking Bishop likely. To forge a brighter dawn for Febris. All set. Got it. Want some of this? I won't God, stop we are now. just cutting a bloody swath through them. I'm up. Heading over. You ready? Another a little stronger every day. Which I mean, I start? obviously Glad is the intended purpose of Sigil Battles, but still. I make haste. You don't stand a chance. Bet that hurt. Gotta say, I hated this continent. The color scheme really something. bothered me. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Hmm. Get a little bit of a thundercloud going here. 
I'm up. Easy. All set. Hey, we got it. Hold off until we can get some reinforcements over here. Let's stay calm up whenever you need me. Flying units being particularly nice because the mountain here. Advancing. I'll take that. Gotcha. I am your humble servant. Please move. Forward. Miss it. Yeah. Bruno squad should be able to handle it, no problem. No point being scared. Huh. Not so much, but that's all right. They've got reinforcements coming in now. Can't run now. I'll not show mercy. A true nightmare, if one ever deserved the title. Interesting. So it's all of our attacks bouncing off of the Legionnaire, isn't it? Plus probably heals. And probably just off the Feather Shield in general, right? I can't imagine this is going to help, but... Well, it does help. No point being scared. Steal your resolve. Interesting. All right, what is happening here? I want to see. Uh, hold on. Okay, so they got the big heal there. Whew. We're doing good initial damage to them. I mean, that's a whole feather shield down. It's mainly that they're all just jumping in front of each other and tanking. I'm gonna try now. But I mean, we're cleaving through the defenders, so even if they wind up having plenty of HP left, it's definitely not the end of the world. Someone's gonna get hit with this. Yeah. Ow. 39% by the way. Alright, yeah, I mean, that's a dub. Absolutely. I feel like that was going to turn out way worse than it actually did. And now they should definitely be dying. There we go. It took a lot of stamina, but we did get through. Your orders, sir. I am your humble servant. Forward. We'll help up here first, if it's needed. Time to prove it myself. is not needed, <laughs> as it turns out. Testing the feather shield does not Let's guard any going. sacrifices. They actually die quite often. Right. Yeah, that's what people were talking Where about before. Understood. Need something? Heading over. Your that is done. certainly something to keep in as mind. How may I assist? Location secured. Whenever you need me. Advancing. I fear death approaches. Did my honor farm help you or did you find something better? No, I definitely did use it a little bit, Game Reaper, so thank you for that. I Doesn't matter that no we lose, further. we knock them out Your from getting reinforcements. Heading there now. And then we can finish them off with these guys. Where should I go? Bruno's squad actually catching up here. Little legs be pumping. However, this is yeah. not your fight, big man. Sure, sure. There is time yet to claim victory. Indeed, there is a lane. Place That's why yourself. we're about to claim victory. Another step forth. Huh. This is nothing. Level 37, man. This brutal war draws... How's that for good? Awesome. Nice. All right. Losery cloak, do of agility, and master military treaties. Uh, I think we got unsullied scrap metal there, actually.
We did. Okay, cool. So we can finally go finish upgrading Pistoria. Jeez. Uh, that Phantom Cloak as well. What was that? Illusory Cloak. Phantom Step. Activates for being attacked. Evade the next attack received. <sighs> Is that... That's just worse than the Thieves' Mantle, isn't it? Where's the Thieves' Mantle? It's here somewhere. It's here somewhere, chat. Yeah. Activates for being attacked, evade a single hit. Oh, okay. I see what the difference would be. Evade the next attack received. So, like, the Thieves' Mantle would let you dodge one hit of something like, say, Meteor Slash. From the way I'm reading this, this would let you dodge the entire Meteor Slash, which is a difference. Not a huge difference, but it is a difference. These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. I hit the next attack received, yeah. Evade only triggers when you get hit. I think this triggers even if your evasion would evade. Let's look at the wording. Activates after being attacked. Or before being attacked. Activates before being attacked. No, it's the same wording. So these should both work the same way. And as we've learned with Berengaria, where her skill only activates, it says activates before being attacked when she gets hit. If she naturally evades the attack, her ability doesn't activate. So these should function the exact same way. Want to test it in a mock battle? We can. We absolutely can. Uh, I don't think we need to, because I'm very confident about how it works, but we can test it just to see. Let's see. how I want to do this. I guess do like this. Still won't dodge true hit. Well, yeah, no, but no evade does. Yep. That does dodge the whole thing. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, interesting. So that, that's why it costs a passive point more, because it guarantees you dodge the whole attack, which is very cool. Uh, situational, I would say, but still cool. All right, so let's go over to Bastoria, upgrade that town. Hey, Brunt, what's up? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Near 11 p.m. here, I've got to go to bed. That is okay, Segno. Thank you for hanging out as long as you have, my friend, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Hey, and here we go, our little cutscene for Clearing Vistoria. Do, 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 do. We received word from the chief of each bloodline. The restoration of Bastorius is all but finished. Whoa. Elaine's even more generous than I expected. Most who lead an army resort to seizing goods to maintain their march, yet our prince has done quite the opposite. 
He might have been born royalty, but I've heard he spent most of his childhood living on Palavia. Hence his unshakable devotion to the common man. His former neighbors and friends are now those he seeks to protect. And he's not just protecting them, he's giving them warm beds, hearty soup, and loaves of fresh bread. If that's not happiness, I'm not sure what is. No matter what it is, all that's left to do now is to reduce Zenoira to rubble and ash. Yeah, let's go. Successfully restored all towns in Mistorius. Very nice. Last little reminder for the can't wait. Got the link to my demo rough draft in the Discord. Good night. Oh yes, 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 yes. I hope by the time I'm done with the stream, I continue to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Segno. Have a lovely evening, my friend. I'll guard it well. Okay. Uh, I guess was that the end of this side of things over here? I guess it is, huh? It's Doobie. All right. Only thing for it is to push north. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Oh, hey. Do, do, do. Question, after you finish Unicorn Overlord, you're going to check out another game like uh, Aid and 100 Heroes. Yes, Brunt. That is the plan. I definitely am planning on playing Aid in one way or the other. Uh, I'm curious to see if it performs well on the channel. I'm hoping it does. So I would love to cover it. But we'll have to see. We're definitely at the very least going to check it out on the channel. Oh, Derek subscribed. Welcome, Derek. Thank you. Vivian Lore, her favorite meal is pancakes with strawberries and chocolate chips. And she joined the Liberation Army secretly for the right to wear a suit. Fair enough. Hell yeah. Are Bestial units one of the most powerful or broken units in the game, Tom, in your own opinion? <sighs> I think Bestial units are quite strong. I do think they're quite strong. With the way that the game is balanced, I don't know that I can honestly say that any one like race of unit is actually broken or the most powerful. I really don't think I can. That's like when I was talking in my video about Bestrals about them, I was like, my initial instinct was to say that they were power creep in a way, because some of them just seem, in a lot of ways, just directly better than their human counterparts. But each of them has their own niche that allows them to thrive without just overwriting the existence of other units of their type. I think that Bestrals are some of the most individually powerful characters but because this is a squad based game that still gets balanced out especially since they don't have as much like squad support ability that's their weakness so yeah I think in terms of most powerful classes that aren't like the unique classes because they're all just typically better than generic counterparts I think Saint and Knight and Druid are probably the two most powerful classes. Just right out the gate. Next two maps are going to be fun to watch. Oh boy, okay. Giant maps up ahead. I want to contribute lore, but I feel like my unit hasn't contributed too much. You contribute as much lore as you want. doesn't matter how much we've seen them. Drop your lore in here, man. Big maps, okay. And reckon, I reckon you can probably finish Albion, at least the story bits, depending on how long this stream is. Um, we will see. I'm starting to get tired. I was up at 6 this morning for work. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how far we can get. All right. We're getting close to the capital city, Bisphane Basilica, and the township that surrounds it. You sit tight. I will take a look around. 
we have to probably get up and get water before we finish this one. Uh, I think, yeah, my water's pretty much out. Doubt this will come as a shock, but they've got soldiers patrolling the entire region. Hmm. Oh, crossing that bridge is going to be interesting, isn't it? What we'll need to do is first cross Valley Shallow Bridge. Then get our hands on Fort King's Rock there. Okay. Speaking of which, I've managed to capture a couple of guards on my way back. Oh, pff, okay. Travis is capturing two guards. Leave such interrogations to me, my prince. In the meantime, I suggest you prepare for the impending battle. According to the captives, all decisions regarding the deployment of soldiers come directly from the Pontifex himself. The one person who mentioned that we should use the mirror on Hodrick was completely correct. We could have had the whole squad matching here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Great Knights are also seeing as OP. They're very good at the hard-hitting stuff and killing before the enemy gets the act. Yeah, Great Knights are definitely really strong, yeah. No doubt about that. Battle of the Big Bridge, hell yeah. Yet, Galerius claimed the man was dead. The pontificate is a hereditary station, meaning the next in line takes the mitre when their forebear passes. It's nice to actually hear Hodrick talk again. I do like him as a character. Thus, we can almost assuredly assume an heir has ascended to the role. I don't believe that's likely. Then perhaps Galerius was lying. Such simple deception is far from beneath him. Hey, uh, not to butt in, but... Isn't Scarlet supposed to be the new Pontifex? <gasps> Boop. Why would you think such a thing? <laughs> Why the exaggerated gas? <laughs> what the fuck? That, like, surprised me. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> how dare you suggest such a thing? Well, the two of you have been acting real weird ever since we got to Albion. Is Lex... Do they not all know that she's the daughter? I was gonna come ask why when I overheard you talking uh, about it. Sorry, I wasn't trying to pry. Okay. Right. That's why the big gasp. I forgot that she hadn't told everyone that it was just Elaine. I, that, that Hodrick gasp was insane. Isn't Scarlet supposed to be the new Pontifex? Aww. It, aww, I wish it replayed the whole line. I wanted to hear that huge Hodrick gasp again. That was awesome. That, like, surprised me he gasped so mightily. Does he speak true? He does. I'm sorry for hiding it from you all. Also, once again, Lex just, like, snooping on everybody all the time. <laughs> Pontifex Arant only has one descendant, and that's me. How long have you known, Elaine? Since the Sanctuary in Cornea. In the eyes of the Orthodoxy, Scarlet would rightfully take over in the case of Arant's passing. Which means Galerius did lie. It appears the Pontifex still lives and is dictating every move Albion's forces make. It's possible, yes. But our only hope of learning the truth will lie in infiltrating the pontifical chambers. Ah, easy. <laughs> then let me do it. Not when Zenora has got the church dancing to their tune. It's too risky. Maybe so. But I'm his daughter. And I won't let you stop me from seeing what's become of him. It's true that we'd be spared a sacrilegious war were you able to convince him to stand down. Yet we must first determine if he even lives. I know how you feel, Scarlet, but such responsibility can't rest on your shoulders. If Arant truly has passed on, yours would surely be the next life they hope to claim. Hmm. I would ask if you guys think if the Pontifex is alive, but I know the majority of you have probably finished this by now, so you wouldn't really be able to answer safely. So, I'm curious, though. Even a proper scouting mission and I'll catch up with you guys once this, truth. once this dialogue is Indeed, done. Indeed, it seems the Basilica's security was far too tight to breach. 
Though we have recovered word from a few locals who claim they've seen Arant at a distance. Okay. Yet, he's made no public appearances of late, citing grave illness as the reason. I'm calling it now. Papa Pontifex got resurrected by Baltro and is being puppeted around like a, well, as a corpse. That's going to be my stake. That's what I'm going to bet is happening. Whether or not he truly lives, there will be no avoiding conflict with the arm of the orthodoxy loyal to Zenoira. If I may, your highness, I suggest we advance on the Basilica with all haste. Probably the right play. Before they can rally reinforcements from the rest of Albion, you mean? Hmm. I suppose that would forestall an all-out war. Quite so. And should we manage to bend the trunk of the orthodoxy toward our cause, its many branches will surely follow suit. Fair. You okay with this, Scarlet? I've made my peace with whatever it is we have to do. A mighty sword <laughs> arm anchored by so holy So don't treat purpose. me any differently, okay? A zealous warrior. That goes for you too, Elaine. That's easy enough to say. <laughs> this fight will surely see you cross swords with people you know. Maybe even people you love. I imagine the battle will be a painful one indeed. What's one moment of pain in the face of a lifetime of suffering under Zenoiran rule? For the people of Albion, I'll do anything it takes. Hell yeah, Scarlet. That's the backbone well we then. need. Our destination is set. Once again, Hodrick still for Albion's <laughs> capital and Bisfane Basilica held within. <laughs> Hodrick still standing there out of out of uniform. <laughs> Everyone else got with the memo continents ago. In that case, we must first secure the bridgehead across the river in the Warnby region. Prepare to depart at once. But of course, your highness. A moment, Scarlet. Are you sure you want to go through with this? To be honest, I'm a bit scared. I can only imagine. But praying over the matter oh, will dude. solve nothing. I have to act if I want to see it done. Bro. And I plan to do just that. Sorry, I don't mean to keep talking over you, Scarlet. I'm just immersed, or not immersed, enamored with the like effect of the heat. Rippling off of Elaine's back from the fire behind him, like God damn, Vanillaware just does not miss with their attention to detail. Wow, <laughs> that is awesome. God, what a beautiful background too. That's really nice. Okay. Bound by Sacred Oath, enemy level 34. All right, I've been, out of the corner of my eye, I've been seeing chat scroll by. I haven't been able to ca like catch what anyone's been saying. I have to scroll up. Let's see. Uh, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Same uh, yeah, Hodger got awkwardly standing there out of view in form. Exactly, Andrew. Gonna maybe cover the Soikin 1 and 2 remasters. I would like to, yeah. Absolutely, if Konami ever frickin' releases them. Um, but I definitely would like to. I think it'd be cool. I probably wouldn't be able to like do any sort of like guides, really. Maybe like a review, a couple videos here and there. Um, I guess maybe new guide coverage would be useful for people, potentially. I don't know. Um, but I wouldn't mind streaming them, because I adore those games. I love both of them so much. And it would be really, really nice to introduce more of them or introduce them to a wider audience, because they're such an underappreciated series by so many people. So, if I can make it happen, if I can fit it in, again, depending on when Konami releases it, absolutely. Decided to involve a canon character in my lore. Ajax is a general of Cornea for the past ten years, but Bradley fought against Ajax. Most of his unit got slaughtered, so he swore justice slash revenge. Ooh. All right. I like it. I like it. Very cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with inco incorporating some canon. Elaine Scarlet thought nobody else knew. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. Posted more of your characters in the chat. Saw that. Lex is nowhere and everywhere. Seriously. Why do we have Travis infiltrating anywhere? Lex can just blindly wander in somewhere and learn vital information he wasn't supposed to know. 
I remember to give Hodrick and Joseph my color scheme before this cutscene. Yeah. Might find out the answer to this stream, potentially. Uh, ah, here we go. Saga is from a lesser noble house. While carrying all the normal proclivities of a noble, she thirsts for adventure. Seeing the opportunity, she spirited herself away one night and joined the liberation. Nice! I always love a story of, like, a, a noble turned adventurer for the spirit of it. Always fun. Very good. Thank you for posting, Hartman. Being undead would classify as grave illness. But Very nice. I feel like something bad is going to happen to Scarlet. Maybe? We saw something bad happen to Scarlet if we tried to rush the final mission early, but... Oh, Brunt gifted a membership to the community. Well, welcome, Blue Sea. Very good to have you. I hope you enjoy your temporary beans. How would Hodrick best look with the hand mirror makeover? Reckon making the white into black and his hair and armor blue into orange, maybe? Probably, yeah. That seems to be what's worked the best for most armored characters, like with Lex. So, probably. Watching a werefox face tank werewolf squad after werewolf squad. Oh, yeah, they're wild. Quinn lore. Quinn has a holier than thou attitude. She joined after getting beaten in the Rainus map. She couldn't let her defeat stand and demand she prove her abilities. Her promotion to unit captain only grew her ego. Ooh, I love this lore, man. I love that we're getting lore. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. <laughs> Lex the detective. Yeah, seriously. About some Renee lore, let's just say casting fire magic never felt right for her, so she sought out a coven and learned some new tricks from Yana. Alright, alright. I dig it. Hell yeah. Makes sense. Big so I can fan myself. I'm glad that there's a bunch of good, well-cultured folks in chat tonight. Saw mods for PC that allow them for generics and special classes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I actually have a copy of five. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Joel, of course they're already running on emulators. Switch emu, man. All right, I actually managed to get caught up with chat. There we go, nice. All right, um, so. Yes, sir. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if there's anything interesting to take note of as we run around here. Town up there, so that's definitely gonna have a garrison. Yeah, I'm guessing we won't even be able to try to approach the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And we can only see so far. Alright. Um. You know what? Yeah, we've got the honors. Let's, uh. Where the hell was that lady? Let's go buy a hand mirror and change Hodrick's color scheme, because I get the feeling we're gonna need it. I'm imagining it. Maybe Travis? Maybe? Possibly? No, not Rapport. I can't really imagine who else would show up, but clearly Hodrick has been, so... Um, may as well just give you Defensive Guardian, just for the sake of it, we're here. Okay. Um, so... What were you saying? Someone... Who was it? Sorry, my memory is shocked, so I'm tired. Uh, here we go. Uh, Recommend making the white into black. Definitely. And hair and blue ar armor and orange. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking, too. So we go orange here. Hair color. Orange. Black iron. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Although maybe... Maybe black hair for him. Yeah, I like that more. I do like that more. Definitely. I shall prove my worth. 
Good. Travis does seem to show up a lot, definitely. Had a physical copy of Soikin 2 on PlayStation. My little brother got our PlayStation when I moved on. Needs to be fixed, so we took it to a repair shop with the disc inside. The repair shop fixed the PlayStation just fine, but we never saw the game again. No! Oh, that's such a shame. Oh. Uh, my dad had 1 and 2 on disc back in the day. That's how I saw them, because he played them. And um, he traded them in at some point, long before I really even understood the value myself. It's actually fine. We're never going to use Travis anyway, so... Uh, I'm thinking black here. Black here. Oh. We can't go orange there, so let's go... Orange here. And here. There we go. And then... Black iron armor. There you go. Cool. I appreciate it. Watch a non-commentary YouTuber called Master of Conquest, which is all the second games of walkthroughs. Ah, very cool, very cool. Um, yeah, I might look into that for 3 through 5. I have played 1 and 2 pretty extensively, but... Um, yeah, 3 through 5 I know nothing about, so that could be a cool way to check it out. All right, we do have one piece of fevre as well. Let's go get a weapon upgraded, and then that'll be enough stalling. So now the question is, what do I want to upgrade? Uh, obviously, there's going to be plenty of good options. Bandit's Hand Axe wouldn't be a bad pickup, just for the damage boost. Same thing for the Dragon Bones stuff. Um, corroded Spear, Iron Thorn. She's soul is never attacking, though. Never. Silver Trident wouldn't be bad. We do use this squad quite a bit. It's not a huge boost. Not a huge boost. Frost Bloom would not be bad. The Interrogator's Bow would not be bad. Although we have the Inquisitor, which we should definitely equip here, because it's literally the same thing, just just literally just better. And we can make it even stronger. Don't know that it needs that, though. Um, Telerik Staff could be good. Again, not that Earthquake really needs to be dealing damage. We do do a fair bit of attacking here. The Zenora Knight Sword could be a good choice. Could actually also go with the Runic Sword. That's going to be the play. That's going to be the play. Super Runic Sword. Let's go. Cool. All right, let's do this thing. I'm gonna just go grab more water quick. Trinity Rain Staff needs all the damage it can get. Plus one damage matters. Nah, not yet. We're fine. It does plenty of damage at the moment. For PvP stuff, sure, but for now it's fine. Uh, all right, let me grab. Uh, Big stretch and low. Remember to move a little bit if you have a chat. Can't be getting stiff. Can't let your body harden up on you. Ugh. All right, we'll grab water. as long as you guys are saying this will probably be the last one for tonight because I am pretty beat and I have to get up a decent
some time tomorrow so I can finish off the class overview part two video. Get that up before I have to go to work. And He's then, a beaten, uh, broken maybe we'll finish souls. this tomorrow night. We'll see. And yet but our fortunes definitely do this fortunes with them. Uh, Zulakim. Oh, man. All right. I want to try and do this justice. Zulakim Hefezil bin Mod Zulkefli. Zulkefli. I probably did not do that right, but welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Very good to have you. Hope you have a lovely evening around here. Posted a spoiler link to the new MTG set if you're interested, Tom, in Discord. Oh. Father Sonatio. Oh. What word of his holiness? Oh. Hi, Dimitri Fire Emblem. <laughs> good to see you. Um, Dark Marquess? Maybe? Definitely looks like it. Huh. Um... I, I mean, I'm curious. I just haven't had the time or money for MTG recently, even though I do love it so much. I'll probably check it out, though, just as, out of curiosity. Okay. Whew. Here we go. My sincerest apologies, Lord Nigel. I know your journey here has been a long one, but His Holiness has sequestered himself in the oratory and sternly refuses all who seek an audience. Such has been the case for months on end. Respectfully, Father, the faithful grow more worried for his well-being with every passing day. Chris Hackney doing British? Um, it doesn't sound very British to me. <laughs> Just catching up with chat. I, too, am concerned. Yet we can only pray for his eventual return. Actually, hold on. This is interesting. Because Nigel clearly comes from Zenoira. But he doesn't know where his holiness is. So either Baltro is doing things on the sly, which is certainly possible. We know he does that all the time. Uh, or... The angels are actually up to something with the Pontifex, which would be interesting. Just as he unceasingly prays for the state of this tormented world. So I shall. Very well. We may discuss the matter of an audience at a later time. You're thinking Pontifex is dead and they don't want people to know? But people saw him walking around recently. That's the interesting bit. My god, look at the fucking... Even a passing glimpse of his <laughs> holiness would set my mind at ease. Alright. I need Yet. someone... I need someone to do... I know this meme is out of date by this point, but I need someone to do the Fonk walk with that with that walk cycle. That man was a barrel-chested, strutting warlord right there. <laughs> that was absolutely Fonk walk material. 100%. A word, Sir Nigel. Ooh. A sacred god, hmm? What is it? We've a report from a congregant residing in Burberry. It would seem the rebel army has amassed their forces in the region. So the day of reckoning is finally upon us. The Heaven's Wing Knights make ready for battle. You are to mobilize without delay and see that the rebels are stopped before they ever cross the valley shallow. Dr. Levesi walk exactly. Today, I shall at last ease the worries that so burden His Holiness. Oh, I was hoping he'd walk off and do it again, but he decided to break into a sprint. This guy. All right, I'm excited, though. Another unhelmeted Dark Marquess. And he's a sword and board, too. Allow me to reiterate our aim in this battle, Your Highness. We seek the capture of Fort King's Rock to the west. Oh, yeah, look at this bridge. And in order to reach it, we must first pass over Valley Shallow Bridge. I'm glad we changed his uh, color scheme. Nice. Oh, and see, Travis, look at this. I called that shit. Boom. Somehow I doubt they'll just let us cross, though. Then we've little choice but to claim it as our own. Now come. A crucial struggle awaits. Some might say, fight it out. Banger music alert. Hell yeah. Tis utter sacrilege to imperil the safety of our hallowed land. Onward, men, and may the word of the unicorn direct your march. May the word of the unicorn direct your march. 
that is a very interesting choice of words. Uh-huh. God, this is literally just a Tactics Ogre track, just straight up. This is just a creation disc. All right. Two Berserkers, three Rangers, or Snipers. Uh, Vanguard and three Warlocks, not bad. Okay, that's pretty scary. Two Feather Bows, a Doom Knight, and two Great Knights. Yikes. And then double Rogue Sniper. All right. Interesting little squad back here. This is almost worth just popping a Hallowed Cornash and Wild Rushing across. Y'all have a, uh, a license for these barricades, eh, mate? No? Oh, I'm going to have to confiscate them then. Shame. Ooh, triple sorceress. All right. Again, these two feather bows, three cavalry squads are spooky. Rogues and breakers. Berserkers and mages. Huh. Two vikings, a feather staff, and a couple snipers. A couple snipers. It's a good job, mate. Catapult right across the bridge, because of course there is. Uh, two catapults right across the bridge, even. All right. Flying units definitely going to be coming over here and wreaking havoc. Five feather staves in a tower as well. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a chonky map. Let's see what Nigel's got going on here. 171 HP, first off. <laughs> Servant and master of the forbidden sword arts. Excels at offense, defense, and equal measure. Bears attack skills, which can cause afflictions. Yeah, what a guy. <sighs> All right. Big lad. Each Dark Mark has a different weapon. Yep. Really nasty squads in this chapter. Yeah, I can see. Tom's accent. Which one? The Australian or the British? Question is, does Cornea have a Dark Marquette? Just like every country had one or two characters from the prologue, although Alheim had two from Elenia's squad instead of the Strait of Traitors. Um, yeah, I guess it would technically be Valmor, because he's got the ceremonial armor. It's not exactly the same as the Dark Marquette's armor, but... All right. So this is going to be nasty as well, by the way. Two Feather Shields, and then two Feather Staves. Gross. Uh, as far as skills, Burning Edge, Taxing enemy inflicts Burn. Grants user plus one passive point. They're already burning. So he's a Burn unit. Got it. Death Spin. Same thing as Berengaria. Inferno. Attack a row of enemies. Ignores 50% defense and inflicts Burn. And grants the user one passive point. Yikes. Advanced Cover. Activates before an ally's attack. Cover an ally with a medium guard. Grants user plus one AP. Ugh. Phantom counter. Counterattack single enemy. Inflicts burner. Removes all of targets. Buffs. Oh, okay. And parting death. Activates at the end of a battle. Attack a single enemy. Inflicts a death blow if the target is 50% HP or less. Right. And striking ray? Deal physical and magic damage to all enemy units within range. 150 potency of each type. By the way... Brother, man. Okay. Hmm. The British one. <laughs> you are licensed for that accent. <laughs> no, which is why it's so bad. All right. Well, one thing at a time. We have to take the northern and... Yep, yeah, eastern. Technically southeastern, but... Take these two territories, and then we'll be in decent shape. Joining the battle, wherever you'd like me. Your orders, please. I'm gonna let them. Oh well, technically, I could just do this. I want to make sure we get the. There we go. Got it. Bonk. Wherever you'd like me. Hmm. Not quite as much damage though as I would like, but definitely softens them up sufficiently. Sure. So we can clear that down there. Then here. Uh, uh, 
Mills is still rocking Arrow Rain, right? Yeah. How these guys would fare. I am your humble servant. Not terrible. Are we blinding? We should be. Does that change anything? It does not. Interesting. Well, because we rely on a lot of dodge tanking here, which is the partial issue. 126 isn't actually that much, though, spread across our front line. So this could be a worthy trade. And plus, there's a campfire right there, so I let's do that. And then... I'm tempted to go with the Trinity Rain squad here. Because then we'll have healing assist as well. I make for battle. Your orders, sir. Yeah, obviously they're not going to attack there because of the magic reflect, but they'll be able to healing assist, and then they'll be good against these guys. So, all right. I have this one. 113. That could mean the death of our middle doom knight, or that could just be a coincidence that it's spread across our party. Let's see. Okay. Easy there. The like the cursed swamp into sandstorm is such a debilitating combination for enemy squads. Definitely something I'm gonna have to mention whenever I finally get around to my uh, shaman slash druid class guide. Don't sword masters of true strike? They do, but blind overrides true strike. It's my I know, isn't Pierre's voice perfect? Is everyone sharing unit lore here? Some for Antonio. His son's name is Veneer, and as a rabbit bestral, he lost his biological parents when Zenora first invaded. He writes to Antonio while he's gone. Very cute! I do like the details that you have, Cyberwolf, of like all of the inclusion of orphanage stuff and everything, since that is a plot line that we saw in Basorius. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'd say this is working out pretty damn well. Can I just say thank you for making this community I feel welcomed in? Power. Chat too, thank you. Of course! Absolutely! Listen, this, you wanna know? Here's been my philosophy for this community. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your background is, what your beliefs are. So long as you come in here and you treat the people around you with respect and humanity, then you're welcome. That's it. Yes. Be good to each other. That's why I always say it at the end of every video. If you're not going to be good to the people around you or to me, then you can get out. And I will make sure that you get out. But so long as people here are good to each other, you're very welcome. This should help the cause. On to the next. What should I do? Yeah, I think, I think we've got right things away. on lock over here. <laughs> Allow me. The anxiety I felt from presenting even that small piece of lore was so overwhelming for my brain. So the response felt really good. Of course. To forge a brighter of course. Dawn for fabric. Hope you're paying me. I'm actually getting better. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Listen, Your if you guys want to know where my inspiration comes from, so much of it. <laughs> now it's um, it's kind of embarrassing for me because I know like Sir. he watches some of my stuff now. But um, if you're familiar with the creator Christopher Rod. Huge inspiration for me on YouTube. Absolutely massive. Uh, he's like the XCOM guru on YouTube. He covers a ton of games just like this. He had his own video talking about Unicorn Overlord. Um, and stuff like creating characters for chat and things like that. And just the, the overall vibe of his community is something that I aspire to foster in my own community as the channel starts to grow. So if you like what we have going on here, I recommend you check out his stuff. He's a way bigger channel. 
way, way bigger channel. He crossed 500 million subscribers like a year or two ago. But if you haven't checked out his stuff, I do encourage you to check it out. See if it's of interest to you because he's a great guy. Definitely. Yeah, I, I don't know him personally, but we have chatted and I've always loved the, the overall atmosphere of his community. Who? Uh, Christopher Odd. Do I can really expect of anyone? Exactly. Exactly. Can I post a channel link? Sure. Absolutely. Give me one second. And Mr. Odd, if you ever wind up seeing this, <laughs> just know I am absolutely, like, embarrassed right now. But seriously, I appreciate your stuff if you ever happen to see this. And here y'all are. Again, not much of a, like, tactics guy in terms of, like, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre. That's actually something he talked about in his Unicorn Overlord video. How Unicorn Overlord is the first of that style of game that he actually clicked with and really enjoyed. Um, but, again, stuff like XCOM, other strategy style games, thinky games, puzzle games, story-based games. He's a big fan of. Wherever you'd like me. Right away. All right, well, now that uh, Pierre's unit has just cleared the whole southern half of this map, or at least the southeastern half of the map for us. I'm ready to fight. Didn't he have Divinity gameplay? He did. Yep, him and Luckless Lovelocks. Uh, they did Divinity and Divinity Original Sin 2. I don't think they finished DOS 2, uh, but they have a whole Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough together that's really fun, and a bunch of other stuff as well. XCOM is somewhat tactics. No, it is, it is. When I say tactics, I mean specifically like Final Fantasy Tactics, Fire Emblem, Tactics Ogre, stuff like that. That style. Because like the XCOM style is also tactics and strategy, but it's a very different style of game. Very different genre, I would say. Hey, Evan! Was finally able to catch a live stream. First one since you started Unicorn Overlord. Well, welcome! It's very good to have you. I can take a hit. Eckert looks great in green. Oh, hell yeah. Eckert and Leon Hart are both so awesome. And, like, if Leon Hart was red instead of orange, we'd have perfect fire up and cavalier energy going on. His UO review is the first Christopher Rod video I ever saw, despite hearing of him from here long ago. Oh, yes. Yes. Ow. The sniperinos. Jesus. All right. Enough. Jesus. Hold on. Oh my god, the 354! Holy shit, Eckert. That man had a family. Have a hard time with Tactics Ogre, lots of management. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I hear you on that. I've lost hours of my life to War of the Chosen. Oh, yeah, Brunt. I've talked about that on the channel before. Um, one of the last streams I showed off, I've got, like, approaching 800 hours in XCOM 2, which is primarily War of the Chosen. <laughs> I've played a lot of Talk XCOM 2. A lot. All through college. A good chunk of that is idle time from having it open while I was working on, like, Sir. papers and presentations and stuff. Um, but the majority of it is raw gameplay. <laughs> might we need here um actually i might get charlotte's unit out so we can start working on these barricades i'm heading out all set glad yeah, plus there's going to be reinforcements that come out there anyway so consider it ours all right and then we should have a backup unit for charlotte as well these guys can rest and get uh leon hart back up and then Hmm. There's a lot of physical units coming up in the north. We'll probably bring out you need, the super tax bros. Advancing. Still have the vibe of colors are off. That's true. Allow me to assist. Hmm. Yeah, I mean this is fine. It's worth the trade. 
Right, the damage was more focused on our shield shooter and our rogue than I expected, but it still How worked. Now we can finish Forward. them. These guys can maybe fall back in garrison, maybe just get the fire. How may I assist? Hard to say. We'll Trinity rain wish. these guys. Super tax bros. You would. We can go after the Heading angels. Alright, we're in a good spot. Shall I? To forge a brighter dawn for Fevers. I'm actually getting better at this. Yeah, I think we'll have this squad fall back to the garrison Your point order, and just sir. recover that way. We'll wait to use the wish. bonfire until we clear this little group up here. Just to keep our momentum rolling. Uh, to that end, let's get Pepe's unit out here. Make for battle. I am as one of our servant. big slayer teams. Though, actually... They might not be needed up north, and I'd rather have a squad over here for reinforcements Forward. now I think about it. Merely ask, and it shall be done. First I thought you had Christmas Doom Cavs, now I see one of them is orange. Yes! Success. It is close. Ooh, hello. Shall I? I see there's a squad over there in the forest. Sneaky. You can tax bros with werewolves? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm gonna try now. Funny, with certain games I vibe with and others I don't. I do love XCOM and Ogre Battle, but I don't care for Advanced Wars or something like that. That's just how it goes, man. Our first Trinity Reign of the Night. Absolute devastation. Yikes. Wow. Whew. Yeah, that's how it always is, Brunt. Like, there's certain games I expected to love and just didn't. Just how it is. Never fails to amuse me how much Tom optimizes the pause button. How do you mean, Bo? Just out of curiosity, I'm not quite following. Oh, wait. There is a ga garrisonable bridge here. And a gate down here, which is technically our territory, but... I'm kind of sus. I feel like enemies are going to wind up coming from there, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Fortunately, we have two squads resting right now, so not a huge deal. Your orders, sir. Hmm. Something needs to change with these guys. I'm not entirely sure what. I think because we have Gregor on the front line, I don't want charged impetus here. And then... I guess we can keep haste and strike on. Hmm. We might need to change some classes around. I was looking at the completely wrong squad there. Wow, okay. Lol. <clears throat> um, I mean, I still don't think I want Charged Impetus there, honestly. <laughs> I'd rather get Parry. I am your humble servant. Uh, hmm. It's really the... Having three Sword Masters is rough. This is going to have to get experimented with. Defo some units coming from there. Oh, yeah. Don't care much for Advanced Wars, but Wargroove and its sequel are fantastic. I played Wargroove once, and it seemed interesting, and then I never touched it again. But I do love me some Advanced Wars. Time of it has barely gone down. Look how much you already did. Oh, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> that is very true. It's real time with pause. Why would I not make use of pause whenever I don't need to be moving? Your order, right, sir. Just get in there As for now. Wish. We'll worry about it later. Your order, sir. Ooh, hello. Well, you're prime Trinity Rain targets. Time to prove myself. We shall prevail as one. That works. Prove your loyalty! 
I should charge impetus to trigger at zero AP. That is a solid idea. That is a solid idea. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that, Joel. Definitely. Go get him. A lot of barricades to get through. What was in the cutscene that I missed? I don't know. I'm not sure what cutscene you missed, to be honest. I think the Pepe's unit is pretty weak to ranged attacks, and Swordmaster can't carry that, and the Feather Staff also dies to arrows. True. True. We'll say the Unicorn Overlord has engaged me on like other games. I also like War Tales and playing through that as well. I've heard good things about War Tales, yeah. I have not seen much about it though. But it looks good. I've heard a lot of good things. I think that's actually one of the Chris Brown was playing. I think that's why I saw it before. God, uh, Bastard's Cross might be my favorite skill in the game just for the animation. It's so brutal. Wow, the double whiff on that. That's surprising. There we go. Don't lose focus. Another step on the path of progress. Let's keep going. Beautiful. Let the Trinity reign begin. Not show mercy. I won't stop Perhaps now. Arrest, nice. If I may. Where should I go? Uh, yeah, the mages. Uh. I don't know if the Trinity Rain Squad would really be useful there. Whenever you need Just me. touch the fire. Understood. I've arrived. I am your humble servant. Alright. That you works. Wish. Where should I go? Let me get in Heading there and there finish now. it with the bros. I am your humble servant. Where should I start? All set. Well, we can keep barricade Got busting it. for you now. Are, I make haste. Took you long enough, gladly. I must take refuge. Oh, really? You're gonna blaze? You gonna 420 blaze it, bro? All right, fine. Well, I'm gonna walk away from your blaze, bro. Oh God, hello. The reinforcements are here. Steal your resolve. Get your reinforcements out of here. How may I assist? I make haste. These are beaten, broken souls. Shall I? And yet our fortunes ride with them. As you wish. Part of this squad is that Viking is not durable. So having Viking in the front line is not helping, not I don't think. Mercy. Your orders, if you would. Yeah, Whenever way. you need me. Where should I go? Understood. I am your you guys servant. come down here and help, because we clearly need it. How may I assist? Let me at him. I'm up. Yeah, anti magic team is a go. Easy. Oh, well, we should probably wait until the blaze runs out. Not a problem. The end of this brutal war, John. I can always try. How's that? To forge a brighter dawn nice. for Fevrin. Here's the game about three days ago. I started my TZ run, trying a small thing where I recruit as few uniques as possible. Only one I was unsure about was killing more than whenever you need me. Advancing. Interesting. Forward. How is that going for you? Next. Location secured. For the female version of Bastard's Cross, maybe because I love the way they shield the or throw the shield. That is true, yeah. That is really cool. And yes, my favorite animation from GBH Trilogy of the Heroes. How could you tell? Bro, same. You are preaching to the choir here. Harkin, best fi or Fire Emblem Seven character, just from a design standpoint. I love Harkin so much. Conveyance crystal. All right. Let's keep an eye out if you're planning across the valley shallow. Yep. Yeah, believe me, I totally get yeah, how the catapult orders. is going to be a problem. I'm up. Sure, sure. Your orders, sir. Let's get Forward. you in here for some ranged assist. 
Show me what you got. Sit down. Getting stronger by the day. Have them wait until our range assist catches up. There we go. Yeah. Heading over. I am your hump as you wish. How may I assist? Forward. How may I assist? You guys rest. What should I do? Y'all roll right out. Away. Want some of this? We shall prevail as one. Really? Well, let's watch because it's fun. Leave us alone. Could you turn the Viking into an evade tank? Slightly. I can take a hit. Aging Empires of Mythology. Hey, they are good, yeah. Fuck. We advance. Watch and learn. Oh, Mirage Staff is really cool. Um, yeah, I do love me some real-time strategy for sure. I'm more of a StarCraft II kind of guy. But Age of, Age of Empires is really good. I watched my dad play a lot of that when I was a kid. Leave us alone. GPA Happy Berserker Spin to win. I mean, as a certified Ross main in FE8, yeah. Oh yeah, Berserker Spin to win is really good. Well, you think you might be thinking of Warrior for the horizontal spin. But Berserker does have the really nice vertical spin where they toss the axe up in the air, which is also great. Also, Andrew McGivney has subscribed. Welcome, Andrew McGivney. It is very good to have you. Now I want to hear a Bruno Think accent. You beat me. Think you can beat me? Not even worried. Yeah. Stuff like that. Need something? Need sure, something? Sure, sure. sure. A little bit too high pitched, I would say, but close. I think everyone's pretty much where they need to be, honestly. Show me what you got. All right, that gives us the town. Another step on the path of progress. Don't mind if I do. I'm actually getting better at this. Very nice. I think we found Bruno's VA. <laughs> Easy. I do what I can. I do what I can. Uh, I'd like them to be healthier before I send them on their own Holy Crusade. There's so many angels flying across the goddamn river at us. Um, I make haste. Your orders, sir. I wonder. Can I get away with this? There's almost certainly no way, right? Where should I start? And yet. This should be easy. Gotta get Success. out of here. Mine now. Okay. Do what you wish with our soldiers, O knight, but I beg you, lay not a finger on the faithful of this humble town. You needn't worry. We would never inflict the atrocity of war on innocent civilians. A claim we've no choice but to trust. Pray, take this if you've need of further persuasion. Take this steel trap. Need something? Oh, sure, move. sure. All well done. Okay. Yeah. Heading over. Wherever you'd like me. Man, you know what would be great right now? A cyclone sure. shrine. That would be lovely. What's up next? I have this one. Allow me to assist. Sit down. Easy there. What if you would enjoy Spell Force Conquest of Ao? Not scared of you. Huh. I've not heard of that one. Maybe. They're like the default berserker for GBA Hawkeye all the way. Oh, Hawkeye is great. Don't get me wrong. But there's just something about the casual toss-up of the axe spin and then just bring it crashing down on someone's skull. Especially when it's Ross with the Garm in, um... Witness my power. Oh, man. It's been too long since I last played Sacred Stones. I can't remember the name of Lara Shell's country. Rostin. Rostin. 
The mission in Rousen where you're holding out in the defense mission. Oh, man. Ross just standing in that doorway with the Garm. Crushing like 30 dudes. So good. God, I love that map. I wonder if we'll make a sequel to Dual Strike. Probably not. Unfortunately, I think because Nintendo absolutely fucked up the release of Dual Strike, or not Dual Strike, um, Reboot Camp, because of the whole, like, current political situation that caused them to delay the game for, like, a year and a half for just god-awful reasons, um, and thus killed so much in the way of sales, even though, like, Reboot Camp had a lot going for it. I think if we see any more Advance Wars, it's going to be a long time before they're willing to give it another shot, unfortunately. You always do go deep when you want it to. Well, thank you, Bo. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you to say. In fact, I'm honored that you think that my voice goes so low that it's worth mentioning. <laughs> we will not inflict the horrors of war upon this town. Meanwhile, a bunch of boulders just flying at said town. Listen, we did not fire those catapults, all right? That was not us. We did not do that. Need something? Your orders, please. Hmm. Be bold. Be notorious. I'm ready to fight. All right, all right. Well, sit down, boy. -o. On to the next. Man, I'm tempted to burn another hallowed corn ash, and just get across the bridge and take out this catapult while it's in standby. Okay. Wherever you'd like me. Let's go. What should I do? Your orders, please. Right away. Oh my god, the overlapping assists. Ye gods. There's some big sure, I'm sure. in danger I'll energy start. right here. Got it. Your orders, if you would. It's wise to withdraw. Keep a level head whenever you need me. Heading there We're now. under attack. Allow me. Easy there. Do you know how Persona Tactica did? Uh, I haven't looked into it, really. I would like to finish that one at some point, but... The whole, you can't show anything past the first two chapters until January 31st kind of killed all hype for the game for me, unfortunately. Speaking of FB, just notice you have a red and green Doom Knight in that squad. It's close, it's orange, but it definitely evokes that same Fire Emblem Cavalier energy. Really, if any game should resemble the political situation, 3,000 words, especially Tri-Strat, Democrat from Frozen North Country attacking the South neighbor. To be fair, they came out before all that nonsense started, so. Flash that finish. Love of shock, depends very sensitive international affairs, while the flaws and flaws. It's true. Would I be able to, or would I be willing to give Grimoire once more? A try? I have no idea what that is. Uh, Grimoire once more. Classic strategy adventure from Vanillaware into the present. Wait, this is a Vanillaware game? I've never heard of this. Oh, it's Grim Grimoire. Okay, that I've heard of before. That... Or Grimoire Moir? Grim Grimoire? I, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. But 
Okay, I have heard of that, but I've never seen it before. I don't really know anything about it. Not opposed. I would certainly would not mind checking out more vanilla where it's not that. Should help the cause. Hope you're paying me more for this. <laughs> Maybe it's not all bad. A little stronger every day. You're only the streamer. Enemy unit defeated. You were the only streamer who I followed do? that rule. Yeah, perhaps I'm too much of a goody two shoes, but Sir. I don't want to do anything to hurt my channel. <laughs> I put too much work into it, damn it. Brace yourself. We shall prevail as one. I'm up. Yeah, let's use a squad that's not going to get completely bodied here. Yes, get angry. Watch and learn. Keep getting angry. Ow. Our poor fighter, man. <laughs> He's up. It's fine. <laughs> stronger every day. Welcome back, Calvane. All right, everyone, charge across that bridge. We gotta Advancing. go. You ready? I'll win the next one too. I have this one. Come on, you guys got this. Just take next. out the other catapult. Wherever you'd like. You can them. do you it. Command. Get it. Allow what? Me. Are you serious? I'm hitting the. Take your hot cross buns. You're gonna need them. I'm like kissing the catapult, and I'm really hitting the angels first. Okay. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Wow! Look at that. We're touching the catapult now. Yay! That's enough out of them. Get out of here. What should I do? Tower? Not right likely. Away. I'm worried about this. We got bullied there by that ranged assist. That was very rude. I can't hold out much longer. That was exceedingly rude. I very much did not appreciate that. I am your humble servant. Forward. Your order, sir. Mm, yeah, you As need you to heal wish. up. Your order, sir. You go here. As you That's wish. fine. You're coming out to cause problems. We're going to Where's deal with that. About time. Praise. Not right there because feather arrows. Jesus. Uh. Let's stay calm out whenever you need me. There Advancing. We go. What are we doing? You go here. On it. I'll handle this. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Man, the catapults. This should be easy. Not a problem. Looks like I win. I always forget that fighter slash vanguard counts as armored. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very. Where should rude. I go? I really don't think they need to. <laughs> it is honestly kind of silly that they do, but what can you do? War is never easy. Oh boy. Uh. For real though. I have to stop for now. All right, I you still help. need to go far, far away. There we go. All right. Well, because they got bullied by the ranged assist, our assault was not quite as effective as it could have been, but it was still very ask. effective. As you wish. Like, we did Merely a shit ton of damage to them. I'll not show mercy. I'm actually, I can always train harder. I am your humble servant. They do? They do, Enzo, yeah. Yeah, here we're... 
Sword, shield, infantry, and armor. It's very rude. How may I assist? They really did not deserve that, but. I'm here. Here we go. Alright. Be gone, thought. I don't really care about your distant heal. Merely ask and it shall be done. I've arrived. Again. Keep healing yourselves. I really don't mind. You don't stand a chance. Hell yeah, Bruno. Charge. Getting there now. I am your humble sir. I make haste. I guess we should touch the fire Steal while we're over resolve. here. Especially after this attack. How's that for good? Need something? Heading over. I shall fight until my final breath. As What's you up wish. next? There we go. Big fire heal. Y'all move. <laughs> Must have gotten lucky. Miracle fruit, nice. You got orders for me? Uh, let's just make a beeline straight for this Be tower. You know it. Cause problems for them there. Merely ask, and it shall be done. Hmm. Let's give them something to think about over here. Show me what you got. Don't even this should help the cause. All right, archers down. Now where should in I go? In a pretty decent position. Heading there now. Yeah. Easy. Body these guys. Where should I start? Let's do something about these guys. Goodbye. How dare you stop another attack me with two lone berserkers. Why is there a reincarnated as a catapult anime yet? Now there is an idea. I wholeheartedly <laughs> endorse that plan. That's awesome. But if you want to charge right into the super tax bros, that's fine. You've done admirably indeed to weather our assault. Yet this is as far as your tenacity shall take you. Prepare to face me. Uh, I don't want to. Your orders, if you would. Time to prove myself. Where should I go? Understood. I mean, you can't actually see me, How may I so. Assist? Not particularly worried about it. Perfectly spaced as all things should be. I'm standing by. Time to prove myself. This should help. Beckoning bell, nice. Not a problem. How's that for good? I mean, the fact that we took the catapults, like that's that in and More of itself is just certain would. death for Heading these guys. Now. Took you long enough. Like, what are they gonna do about this? Yourself. Goodbye. I can always train harder. Your next life just your next life just involves lobbing giant rocks at people. So far, Sounds like a simple respectable so life. I think your I would live that life. Would. Heading there now. Where should I go? Nice, they broke the reinforcements. Hell yeah. Where should I go? Understood. Brace yourself. I can't move any farther. When Annoying. I... Uh... Yeah, we'll go with the Vital Absorb. I was thinking about maybe using an item to get them, like, one Valor, but they can just do that and then go step <sighs> on the base. Your orders advancing. I don't think you guys are going to be able to I am your do anything servant. here. How may I assist? Ramona squad in position. You're not Ramona. I'll not show mercy. Um, Luana. There we go. I've captured it. Hey, hey, there we go. Well, now those guys are in a good spot. There's no room for error. Maybe not. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Some of these enemies—they hurt. 
There we go. It helps if you have a lane so far, online. So good. Isn't Nigel evil? I don't know what Nigel's Whenever deal is. Me. He's interesting. Heading there now. Your orders, sir. I mean, at the end of the day, just keep bombarding them honestly. I'm up. Sure, sure. I await Your orders further orders. Advancing. You want to run? Oh, the arrow rain. This guy. Ow. Pfft. Rip to all your guys who just healed. Be over in a sec. Hope you're, pay Hope you're paying me more for this. I mean, we've pretty we solidly got this unlock at this point, I would say. On it. I've arrived. An ill omen. Allow me to assist. Okay. Mm You guys need some anti-blind, is what you need. Take this. Right, they're already under attack. Fuck. I can't change anything? Oh, I can't, okay. You can't steal it from other people. Um... But all my anti-blind stuff is on other people, so not really ideal. Sniper lens, uh, true. Doesn't give anti-blind though, that's the issue. And that's what we need because we're dealing currently zero damage. Steal your resolve. However, if we get the Trinity Rain Squad in here, it don't matter. The war rages on. <laughs> your orders, sir. You guys can go rest. The Trinity Trinity Rain Squad has got this one, I think. I can't hold uh, out you guys as you come keep resting. I've arrived. Shall I? <laughs> the end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Uh, I do love the Trinity Rain Squad. It's very good stuff. Hit him again! Someone must have dropped this. No holding back. I won't stop now. All right. I mean, basically, need something. Head over. Let the catapult finish or hit them. We finish these guys off. Move in for the kill. I'll not show mercy. I can always train harder. Easy clap. I am your humble servant. I make haste. May as well start stealing garrisons just for the lulls. Time to prove myself. To forge a brighter dawn for Fevrith. My unit has captured this land. Brace yourself. I can always train harder. I'm in a bit of tra advancing. Your orders, sir, as you wish. I await further orders. Location secured. You're not here to, oh, to hurt us, are you? I wouldn't touch a hair on your head, I promise. Sorry for scaring you, kid. I confess you don't appear to be our enemy. We'll offer what aid we can, should you simply agree to leave in peace. Hey, healing font large Disclaimed is not terrible. Liberation. Not terrible. Steal your result. Another step on the path of progress. I'm up. Sure, sure. How may I assist? I make haste. About time. Where should I go? The heels, man. We you are dealing for me? a remarkably sad amount of damage. Hey, Only that killed good. the clerics. There we go. Be there before you That's what time. we were looking for. Actually, I wonder. Your orders, if you would. 
heading there now. What are we doing? Hold on. Hear me out here. We just keep softening them up. Where should I go? Seriously? You got orders for me? I'm kind Good of amazed orders, you would. that that wasn't quite enough damage to get the finisher. What are we doing? Where should I go? All right, well, y'all get in there and hurt them. You got orders? Don't you even think about gotcha. it. Gotcha. Made it. Your orders, if you would. Where should I go? Heading there now. All right. About time. I am over this nonsense. What are we doing? Go. Fuck your clerics, you asshole. Whenever you need me. Understood. About time. I'm going. Not a problem. There we go. Your orders, if you and would. And now. Give me when my dub. Me. Heading there now. What do you want now? Brace yourself. Our efforts shall not come to naught. Love the fact that the long bridge just three regular bridges stick <laughs> together. It's great, yeah. Beautiful. Sit down, buddy. <laughs> Twenty-three thousand gold, baby. Hope you're paying me more for this. The end of this brutal war draws ever nearer. Looks like I win. Amethyst pendant, base AP and PP plus one. Love that. What I just thought about is we didn't get to see his dialogue because he went down before I fought him. Hmm, that's annoying. Didn't think about that. Does anyone know what the pre and post battle dialogue so, is for him? You're the one commanding these rebels. Obviously, we're gonna get some characterization here, but come forth and claim my head if you dare. I assure you, it won't be an easy task. That's enough, Nigel. Lay down your arms. You know him, Scarlet? What did you call her? This is the man who delivered me to Palavia as a child. Oh. Him and a trusted few servants, that is. Interesting. Then it's truly you. But what are you I doing consorting with wonder... insurgents? If he'll be Do you recruitable. remember the words my father left me with all those years ago? I relayed the message myself, yes. It was regarding your sacred mission, to serve as guide and guardian for the savior who would one day greet Palavia's shores. Savior? What is he talking about? Wait. You mean to say the man before me... ...is the same one that my father foresaw. Yes. Oh! But it's not out of duty to my lineage that I fight for the liberation. I've joined his cause of my own free will, and I'll do anything in my power to help him see it through. Interesting, interesting, Then you interesting. would see our savior turn his blade on the very orthodoxy you claim to represent. I have no quarrel with the church or its teachings. Yet despite their claims of neutrality, tis devout feet filling Zenoiran boots. Indeed, as ordained by the divine words of His Holiness Pontifex Arant. Galerius told us the Pontifex is dead. Blasphemy! I'll not suffer this impious slander! Then answer me this instead. Why is the Church's army after Scarlet? They're... what? <laughs> Surely one of the Orthodoxy's own knights should know what holy orders are being pursued. Or what machinations are underway inside the Basilica's walls. Another moment here, and you'll be surrounded by your alleged allies. <laughs> Go. Learn the truth for yourself.
Interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting. I'll brook no further impediments, Father. I must see His Holiness at once. And I refuse to leave these halls until I'm granted the audience I seek. Ooh. If you've come to inform him of your defeat, worry not. I have already made it known. His Holiness is most disappointed in you. Then allow me to prostrate myself before him and plead for forgiveness. I'm getting a lot of... Uh, what's his bucket? I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. The old gentleman. God, it's right on the tip of my tongue. From Triangle Strategy of the Saintly Seven. Who was like speaking for the uh, the high whatever the entire time, even though she was just like a doll, and it was really him making everything up. That's that's the energy I'm getting right now. You forget your station, Sir Nigel. The failure you've brought our sacred name earns you discipline, not clemency. Edor, yes. Answer me this at least. Is it true that our knights are in pursuit of his daughter? A libelous rumor, and little more. As you well know, Lady Scarlet was granted hermitage as a young girl, in service of her divine calling. Seeking her out is strictly forbidden, as is even speaking her name. It was, perhaps. Hmm... <laughs> Halt, Sir Nigel. None may intrude upon the pontifical chambers. If you've a matter for church hierarchy, you may see it brought before Father Senatio. A word first. As the guards at his very door, you must surely have beheld his holiness of late. How is he? Well, uh, <laughs> as I expected. Yeah, cut him down, boy -o. A wicked aura lingers in the air. And on this day, I shall discover why. Alright, Nigel's a very interesting character. Nigel is a very what interesting character. Stench. Tis the putrid scent of death himself! Yep, and there's Baltro. I fucking called it, man. Yep. Uh, I see my guards have proven even more worthless than I anticipated. Away from his holiness, devil! No. Such sacrilege defies the natural order of our very world. Boltro, sorcerer of Zenoira. It was you who murdered him. <laughs> Believe what you wish. Though, if the pontifex were pronounced dead, the man who beset his chambers in a fit of rage would surely be the first and only suspect. I've heard rumors about you. A foul necromancer who treats corpses as though they were mere playthings. Just as you've done to his holiness. And how will you explain that, hmm? Your dear leader, as cold and lifeless as the very statues you pious fools see fit to worship. You'll be hanged as a heretic for even suggesting it. Any soul with reason will see you as the true heretic here. How unfortunate it is to find you here, despite all my warnings <laughs> to the contrary. Yeah, see? He's fucking in on it. Father Sonatio! You knew of this? There is nothing to know. His holiness yet lives, and uh -huh. any claims to the contrary are surely the result of a lamentable bout of madness. This guy. The humiliation of defeat is harsh indeed, Sir Nigel. Perhaps harsh enough to drive a vile heretic to murder. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right. 
I smell a potential Nigel rescue on the horizon. Potentially. Potentially. Very cool. Bound by sacred oath. There's an actual trophy for that. All right. I don't know what awaits us at Bisfane Basilica, but I'm ready to find out. Let's go, Elaine. Alrighty. Well, we'll These wrap up our territory stuff souls. here. And yet our fortunes ride with that them. That goddamn goat milk. Do let me uh, know if you require assistance. Giant's great axe, windcrest blade. I mean, the windcrest blade is really good, just. Holy. Oh, shit. May the yeah, I want all that, you. thank you. I hope you. Um. Cemetery. Yeah, we'll do all of our territory stuff here, and then that'll probably be where we call this one. I'm very, very curious as to what exactly is going to go on here. Nameless Guard Spear, cool. Who is this nameless guard who is clearly a huge badass that has all this unique, powerful gear? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some guards. You require assistance. Piercing Strongbow, Armor Shatter 2, okay. Gleaming Mace, holy smite. Oh. Interesting. Attack a single enemy, remove all the target's buffs. That is pretty cool. We can't name him, that would defeat his concept. Okay, listen. He's just Gatekeeper from Three Houses. That's what I was wondering, Kai. Definitely gonna pick that up. Father bless you. Yeah, I mean, the Windcrest shield is really May the good. Father Windcrest bless you. great shield is May the really father good. I hope May the Father bless you. May the Father bless you. May the Father bless you. It just, like, becomes steadily more and more deranged. May the Father bless you! Assistance. Oh, Salamander Great Bow. Just a straight upgrade for the Fire Bow. That's pretty cool. Gives burn immunity as well, which is nice because it actually gives you a reason to use this instead of just using the basic Flame Bow and upgrading it. That's clever. Penoplied Great Shield. Gives heavy cover. All right. I hope. Definitely some names going on here. Dream Blossom, nice. Let's see, is there anything else that... Cross the bridge, thank you. <laughs> is there anything else that I missed here? What kind of stuff do we have available? Oh, hello. Look at you, cool. Different Legionnaire just, uh, design. Nice. <laughs> Very interesting. I do like that design. It's a shame you get it so late in. Mining. I see it. We won't do it this time, but... Ooh, camping sets. Nice. Silica's not much further now, Elaine. Whoa, yeah, look at that. Bisfane Basilica. We should stop for a moment and make certain we're prepared before we head onward. Uh, 
Our scouts have confirmed Damn it, Clive. Reclaiming the Basilica will be a challenge unlike any we faced yet. We're trying to wear a uniform here. Indeed. Tis between a mountain rise too treacherous for even our most skilled aerial knights, or a narrow road quite easily ambushed. Truly a natural fortress, in every sense of the phrase. Your Majesty. What is it, Chloe? It's not like you to be so panicked. Well, it's just... A knight of the Orthodoxy has shown up at our camp, sir. Alone. I had a feeling it would be you, Nigel. The state of our Orthodoxy was just as you said. Zenoira has fashioned us into mere pawns in their fiendish chess game. How did you get away, sir? How... Yeah, exactly, Nairufa. How did you get away? In Pontifex Arant. T'was all artifice. His holiness has long since passed, yet now stands animated in death by the most abhorrent of necromancers. No! I'm so sorry, Scarlet. Then Baltro has sunk his talons into the sacred flesh of the church itself. What do you intend to do now? Make Zenoira suffer for their foul defilement of our most holy patriarch. Could you not have made public with the truth first? The clergy would surely take notice to such godlessness. Yet here you stand, a solitary knight. I come to you an escaped heretic. So marked for the hmm. crime of claiming the Pontifex deceased. It would seem Father Sanatio and the church hierarchy beneath him all sing from Zenoira's hymnal. Okay, so I mean... Do you just make the argument that he's such a skilled warrior, he's got the Dark Marquess armor, which we know is... Like, grants extra power. Maybe he did just get away. Maybe it's just that simple. Could be. No shot in hell, they just let him walk out of there. I mean... It is, it is possible he just fought his way out. I mean, I could see Berengaria doing it, and if she could do it, he could probably do it. I know that name. But I'm not sure a pious angel like him could be capable of such a thing. Unless he's mind-controlled. Sir Nigel, does your presence here mean you seek to join our cause? Do not mistake my aims. His Holiness has ventured forth into the great beyond. And Lady Scarlet is the rightful successor to his radiant office. Uh-huh. My only wish is to see her granted that role in earnest, and the orthodoxy restored to its proper standing. So it sounds like you'd be then served to fight we with us. We would welcome your presence among our ranks, even if only until we reach the Basilica. Cool. All right. Tell ya. And then we sit Scarlet upon the throne. She orders him to come with us, and we're good. Do we have a second Dark Marquess? Maybe. Nameless Guard helped him. <laughs> Maybe. When the time has come to besiege the Basilica, I and my men shall readily accompany you. In the name of Lady Scarlet and the lost sanctity of our holy orthodoxy. This is it, then. Albion's future rests with us. Okay. The Holy March. Let's just check and make sure he's not currently in our list. No. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So. <gasps> goats. Oh, and a shrine. Is that the last? Of course it's a goat carving. Of course it is. Um, is that the last one that we need? One, two, three. Okay. So the last one, I guess, is... Oh, no, it's right here. Four. Yeah, cool. So we can't get that. All right, cool. So we have an order of operations for next time. Uh, what we will do is we'll do some mining. We'll go around and we'll gather up the next, I guess, last... Yeah, I guess the last king's weapon. Uh, we'll feed some goats. 
upgrade some stuff. I might just get a bunch of generic recruits off camera. We'll see. We'll see. Um, do our mining and then go to the final mission of Albion and I guess tie up loose ends, right? Open up all the sanctuaries, whatever that entails, and then push on to the end, which I'm sure is going to be way less simple than one would imagine. Way less simple. If you waifu Scarlet, how would she become the head of the religion? I mean, no reason that she can't do both, right? They say the canon waifu is supposed to be Virginia. That would be odd. Not unheard of in games like this, but... As a direct blood relation, odd. Get some rest, Tom. I will, Bo. I will. Guys, thank you for being here tonight. It was very good having y'all. I, again, I apologize for being tired, although I think I managed to not come across as particularly exhausted, even though I feel that way. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for the generosity in chat, the memberships, the super chats, all that good stuff. Very much appreciated. Um, and thank you for being kind to each other. Chatting, sharing your characters' backstories. It's all very fun stuff. I very much appreciate that. We will be live again potentially tomorrow. I got to see how work goes, talk to Jane, see what she's got going on. Um, but if she's not doing anything in particular and I have the energy after work, then maybe we'll stream and finish this off. If not, definitely over the weekend. We'll see. Uh, look forward to the class overview part two tomorrow. And then the next episode of the class tier list as well, following shortly thereafter. And plenty of other good content on the horizon as well. <laughs> uh, all, the, all the positivity in chat, you guys. It's very nice. Very, very kind of you. I will see you all very soon. Until the next time, my name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other, everybody. Always. Have a good night. Bye-bye.